Out, but Yejin, of course, TNS's very own, going against Mr. Squeakers. We are going to get a full WWE matchup, La Diva Mirror. <laughs> the La Diva Mirror, Vestiva, however you want to say it. You know, that always cooks me whenever I'm playing this. Like, some of the characters on characters, like, they'll just say a completely different pronunciation. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't even know, where does Vestiva come from? Maybe that's the, is that the Japanese pronunciation of the character's name? That is name? the Japanese pronunciation. Okay. That's yes. what I was yes. All right, gotcha, gotcha. That's why Lucilius is Lucifer. Same, same thing there, but here we go. Yeah, so <laughs> this mirror is going to be volatile for sure. I stand medium with the follow-up lariat. Yeah, it's yeah. super volatile. Uh -huh. There's going to be big damage right here. Got everything at their arsenal. Oh, doesn't even decide to extend too far. A little drop there. So I didn't get too much damage. He's got the guard cancel out. Nice guess with the headbutt here. And a duck over Lariat does steal your turn back. Mr. Squeakers has some work to do here, but Yejin with the full nope, drop just a bit. And that's a tight window there. Big 2H pickup. Big one right there, but didn't quite get the rest of the combo. But right here on the cusp of victory. Nice. Lands a drop kick into a chest bump. First round on Mr. Squeakers' way. Yeah, the, uh, that was the 6 6 H there from. Uh, from Yejin for the ender right there. That's the quick drop kick. Very rare to really see really really for players outside of just like a, a combo follow. -up. I mean, when well, I fight this character, I see that so much. I mean, that drop kick comes out consistently. I feel like this team would just throw it out mad random. Well, you know, two you is the one that's definitely gonna come out. Her sweep, but that's one drop kick lower to the ground. The heavy is big, but we got the taunt for the mask off from Yejin to get the EX dunk. Nice follow up. Not gonna kill quite yet, but this is not necessarily out of the realm of possibility because Mr. Squeakers has full battle point potential to really tear away at the health for Yejin. Now, Super Skybound Dark is gonna put you only at 50%. Oh no. No. Oh, ooh. okay. Missed the, tried to go for the air command grab, looking for a jump out, but still ended up closing the round out. That was actually pretty scary. Yeah, you yeah, saw all those bravery, bravery points gone. If we got a combo in that corner, it was definitely Rap City. Yeah, it's that big catch up with Super uh, Skybound Art to at least try to reset the neutral, that 50% life gone off the rip. And then you're trying to follow up after the fact. You need to get out of the corner, which is definitely going to be a positive spot there for Mr. Squeakers. But Yeshin maintaining the control and feeling a little saucy with the mask off taunt there. So here we go. Game two. <laughs> I love that mask that Yeshin's wearing. It's so hilarious. Nice. Larry is going to touch. Uh -huh. Nice dodge out of the corner. I like that. Four step, get out of there. Dodge through. Now pressure's on. Okay. Side switch. Yep. Get yoked up. And this is where it begins. This is that was a good spot dodge, but you're not getting nothing. You were a little late, not a yeah. full conversion, but it was still a good attempt. I would have gotten a with throw. Yeah, it's so misleading. After a wake up, you have about nine frames before you can connect with a throw. Mm -hmm. Six XL spot dodge, but still able to continue pressure. It is the answer. Going for a spot dodge against dash buttons is a great call, but Sweeper's not ready for it. Raging strike just for the extension, not killing here. Not killing, but very, very close. Two braver points gone. It's like almost anything at this point will spell defeat for Mr. Squeakers. Oh, and there it is. That was a quick closeout. Very strong game from the agent. All right, here we go. Back at it again with the white vans. Nice neutral jump to start the game. I love it. So that's definitely how I like to start the game against this character. Either neutral jump or jump back. Like I don't know what Steve is going to do, so I just want to establish neutral and get away. I mean, in the mirror match, that's a good idea, too. Still at the corner carry. Try to challenge with that 2M. Thank God that headbutt doesn't actually low crush. That would, would have been disastrous for Lydia there. <laughs> that would be disgusting. I would be super glad it doesn't. Nice duck under the lariat. Not able to work out of the corner. Lariat touch this time. Mm -hmm. What we got? Yes. That was a nice fake out into the grab. A little bit of a back step right there to get some extra room. Doesn't want to get grabbed themselves. But we got the ultimate skill. Lariat pick up. Able to get a raging chain follow up here. We can't kill off of this route, I don't believe. Yeah. Very close. Oh, there it is. A super close. Almost got the kill with that combo. But either way it goes, we got 2 0 for Yejin. 
Yes, Fairy up against Siegfried. And uh, yeah, this is a matchup I don't get to see too often, uh, simply because the Fairy uh, representation has kind of been dwindling out a little bit. Beepaw probably being one of the most notable Fairy representations. Uh, but yeah, Siegfried though, definitely one of the top four most popular characters in the ranked play space and a pretty large amount of those of you that made master rank with this character. Hinlin up against Nuclear Cheese and that high energy weight, the heavy one, is actually going to be a problem here when trying to send out GG. It will contend with rope a little bit because it kind of counts as a projectile anyway, but let's see. Yeah, this character, Siegfried, he's definitely a monster, Ooh. but man, beautiful zoning going on here from Nuclear Cheese. Yes. See, it's that heavy, wave. that heavy wave representation, like I said, going to be important. Tried to get a guard cancel, but because we weren't close enough, not going to connect to Hendlin. Okay, nice. A little toe touch. Six M. Okay, that's where that is where the problems come in for me. When he starts throwing that out, and you have to guess the command grab, the rush, and, and things like that. I don't ever know exactly what the best option is because if you just sit there, you're caught in the Sre Bobby. That was a beautiful closeout from Henry. Yeah, absolutely. And, I, you know, some of those instances you want to try to throw out up dog if you're fairy here, and not for that range. Though. That is not the range you're looking for. Expecting a jump in here from Hinland with the EX wall carry. Got a charge in stone. Ooh, this is good stuff. This is exactly what he wants. He can get a nice little knockdown here, maybe a little something. He's got the spacing. Beautiful jump button to trade with him. He's got the lockdown. This is good. I'm surprised. What you got? Sorry. I'm surprised if you get like a 2L on top of that GG right there before the GG activation or wipe it off the screen to give you four movement, but the th especially after nuclear G's throughout that DP. Oh, this is punishing. That is definitely huge. I love that little frame, man. That's super common. Yo! No! Raw Skybound. Taking the cake after being locked in the corner for seemed like an eternity. What a way to close that one out from Hitler. You got it. You have to respect the resources from Siegfried because that's not the only reversal you can expect. Obviously, you have regular DP, but even just the regular Skybound art is a great anti-air option if you try to go for jump-ins against uh, Siegfried here. I mean, Nuclear Cheese putting in a lot of great work. Go for the web swing to avoid fireball, but you lose ground on this one. Yeah, definitely backed into the corner. Fighting his way out, though. Good job. Does a little trap out. All right, there we go. This is the keep away game. It's just unfortunate. It's, it's so hard for Fairy to keep up with the damage output from Sigfrey. And, oh, wow. I thought he only threw a jab and was going to be able to dodge. But unfortunate. You lose all those bravery points and a ton of health. With the heavy fireball allowing Hendlin to close the gap. All right, we got the orb set up. This is a huge threat for him. Oh, nice little back dash there. Yeah, that was clean. Right. And he got nothing for it. That sucks, actually. You sent out the orb, which is a great call, right? You force an interaction out of the opponent. They have to respect the whole presence of it. Heavy fireball with 6XL finish here for Hinlin. And you got nothing off the block screen there. Like, Hinlin just stayed full screen, has health advantage. Doesn't have to worry about approaching yet. Yeah, Hanlon played that very, very smart. He didn't have to do much, and then once there was an opportunity for Nuclear Cheese to do anything, he threw out the wave, right? So he just kept it kept it uh, safe. He didn't have to deal with any of it. Now he's dealing with uh, some good combo potential here. Damage output, like I said, is just not really going to be able to rival Safe Freeze. So you have to have so many sequences back to back to back. Make it happen, though. Nuclear Cheese looking nice in this round. Close heavy. Big orb set up here. Oh, too early. Too early for that one. I love the idea. You need to back up. There we go. You can wrap this up and you do. Up dog for the finish. What up, dog? Battle three. There we go. Right, so we got a good around there. Trying to make it 1 1. I like it. Nuclear cheese waking up. There it is. Good AA. Doesn't get the extension. I think spot dodge after that into the grab would have worked out there. The hit grab, rather. Nice spot dodge there. Yeah, definitely would have needed that little brain kill, like you said. Yeah, shut that down. Try to throw a long range wave. <laughs> Poor GG get wiped off the face of the earth here. <laughs> you know what? Good. I I'm not a fan of GG. GG, GG ruins my day. <laughs> nice jump in. Oh, man. You got to spend the bravery point. I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. 
Ooh, I don't know I'm getting worried. I mean, you have this huge life lead, so it's definitely worthwhile. Web swinging in won't be. This EX up dog, or ultimate skill, rather. We'll get that push back. Nice air to air. Hits the limb, and now you have no braver points but the grab from Nuclear Cheese to make it 1-1. One, one. Stay in a flow. But yeah, I was, I was terrified. You, you had one more bravery point. Spent that on the block. If that did not work out, that was definitely going to be over with from a short count. Absolutely. Ooh, jump back M. I like that option much better than we saw for the red swing solution. Because mm -hmm. you are starting on a stair, at least starting to see that nuclear realizes the space that heavy fireball is going to end. So you can really challenge it there. That spot dodge is money. That was perfection. Very, very scary situation there because there's certain things that just wouldn't work against, but that was perfect. Yeah. Nice. Oh, no! Why would the 2H hit there? What did Nuclear Cheese press? That had to have been like a jump medium that was still active. Yeah, I believe it was medium for sure. Jump M, got clipped, counter hit, but still has the spacing right now. Throws out another 2H. Oh, Hanlon having a rough go at it right now. Convert. Oh, he didn't get what he wanted. Unfortunate. Raw VP. See you yeah. later. Hinlin needs to slow down. Got very scrambly in that corner after things started falling apart. You do see, though, that Hinlin also, these two back and forth on adjustments. Hinlin is starting to realize the timing of Nuclear Cheese's approach when GG gets set up and is trying to punish the whip. Kind of like Dalsim Limbs, right? Off of those two H's, get the counter hit animation and can get a little bit of extra time to make the approach or cancel out to uh, spot dodge to move forward. Yeah, he's been doing a good job of catching the limb, but it's mm -hmm. just after he gets that, he's not really getting the position and getting close like exactly. he wants, right? Yeah, so goes another one of those EX waves, doesn't really get anything. Try to go for the grab. Beautiful jump from Nuclear Cheese. Call the orb and what we got. It's not gonna be enough. But this keep away, yeah. Full screen against Fairy. I don't even understand why I go for the web swing right there. Tried to go over the, the wave, I guess. Okay, Spot okay. dodge. Oh, it still wasn't the closer. Finish. Tough, but still got it with the 2M. Actually, 2U, rather. That's the opposite swing. But yeah, Nuclear Cheese didn't really seem to know what's on TNS. I know Slash has been joining the brackets, but I've not seen them play. Slash, of course, another fairy representation. Pardon me for not calling you out for one of the fairy representatives and just leaving Beepaw <laughs> at the front of it. Slash coming in here. A little bit more pressure coming out from this fairy. I like the good, the good start on this one. Lady, you were talking about Normaya, and here we are. We have good representation. This pressure is so clean right now, using that 6-6-M. Give him toes, and now he's got corner lockdown. You lost the press rank, Ooh. plus flames. That was so cool. That was, that was supposed a to be a check. guard cancel is what it was supposed to be. And because of a delay from K-Tang, this raging strike came out instead, and Slash committed, so 25%, not bad at all. I thought he jab checked into it. I thought he jabbed and then and then did raising strike. Am I wrong? I mean, that was wrong, right? Because you were already in the air. Uh huh. Regardless, either way, corner carry from K Tang got the kill. It was a jab. All right. Yeah, that's what I said. That was a beautiful check. And with the, the space he decided to do that in, nice spot, dog. Yeah, he did that perfectly. He ended up losing the round regardless. We had that little conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know taking that one away, but man, this lockdown right now so good. Get your behind back in there. Get your keister cooked in this corner. Not nice. you like the ultimate skill to side switch. Yeah. Ugh. One of those situations you definitely want to guard cancel or not guard cancel. Guard button there. Yeah. Right, combo That's limit. Hold that one. corner. Yeah. Especially if you're running, you know, that's where it calls that side switch, right? You're running and you go mm -hmm. under on accident, unfortunate situation. And after all that pressure, all that, those plus frames we saw, the frame traps from Slash, now corner game it is, trying to fight his way out, misses the instant air, but it's gonna get a nice counter hit. What we got, and straight into the sky bound. That's enough. Yeah, that's good. Good, good round for Slash. Very good answer back, especially since K-Tang has been maintaining the control of the set so far. He's still keeping up in terms of damage. Three, engage. Yeah, he's he's definitely making sure his touches count. He's getting some yeah. good damage. I like it. Nice odd kick. Yes, oh, sir! The no. patience, but doesn't get a punish! Hey, that's the light DP, though, so he's able to recover in time. Both players spot dodging here. 
and GG is going to save the day. Get the pickup. GG out there again. It's been coming over there off the web swing. That was nice. Maximum fighter. Oh, he wasn't ready. He didn't recognize the, the raw side switch. Could have ch challenged that. I'm telling you, these guard buttons will save you a life and a half. Oh, no. oh, that time trying to go for the guard, or excuse me, raging strike, but not going to connect. K Tank still pressuring into Skybound Art. We got the finish. There it is. 1 0 for K Tank. She's already dead. I like it. Normally, is such a cool character, man. That's another one of the like technical characters of the game that I myself in my old age don't have the, <laughs> the wherewithal to keep playing. I, I can't do it. She's got such All a great blend of, games. yeah, you have your unique button uh, just to go for stance swap, right? And uh, you do have those different uh, buttons that do come out depending on the stance, whether it be the blue butterfly or pink. Ooh, ultimate skill DP for the hard knockdown. I like it. Oh yeah, instant air. Makes the setup count. Good damage. Tries to grab a little too early, unfortunate. Stagger. Got that 5L there. Oh, this that's, time that's, that's, that's not again. Yeah. yeah, he's been finding the spot right there. Perfect. Great patience from Slash. Five H, keeping it close with the second follow up there. That's clean. I like how he's staggering his pressure from Five H. Right, he's just mm. he's making him wonder. He's been utilizing his grabs a lot, right? So you don't just he gets close, he waits a second and counter hit, big damage. Ooh. I'm looking to keep away here from K Tank. Yeah. Oh man. I, I definitely, yeah, you're totally right. With this uh, projectile game that we're playing right now, going for the slashes, these missed finers, if you will. Haven't left Guilty Gear quite yet. Oh, while rising <laughs> and with the Raging Strike follow up. Oh my god, the chain, dude. Beautiful side switch there. Ooh. Here's your guard cancel, but <laughs> one right back at you. Mmm. Ultimate skill DP, yes, sir. Ooh, yep, you used too many bravery points. I'll haul at you. Oh, that's, a, that's the worst feeling, man. That, I think that mechanic drives me absolutely insane. You know, you really have to pay attention to what the opponent wants. And people really want to hit you with that Raven Strike once they see that you're missing the pips. They're pulling up on your block. Oh, absolutely, if you're willing to give that up. But then you also have to have the resources to build it back, right? So you're going for your Skybound Arts more frequently because of it. Since you have Peter, it's that tug of war on that mechanic alone that makes it so interesting. 2L yeah. pick up there. Ultimate skill to get the combo limit. Right in the GG. No, the TP comes through ultimate skill. That was perfect. I, I, it was like, yeah. it was too much of a situation to deal with. I like that. Let it rip. You, you those, do not want to eat that combo. Yeah, it's one of those weird situations where, like, kind of like how, um, oh, what's your, uh, oh. I'm sorry. Yo, no, that's totally, like, Charlotta's parry kind of makes that same interaction where if you parry the fireball too close to the tournament's coming up with the Charlotta out here, and then, of course, Shar Shar coming back with the Vera. Serena so Pinguina might be one of the most fire names I've ever heard in a fighting game. Tournament. I love it. That name is fire. Nice take throw there. Got the corner game. Charlotta is such a scary character, but right back at him, going into the transformation. Char Char, this character right here is a menace. Like, yeah, it's, 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 you're really fishing out for this transformation state. So that's something that's always on the back of your mind when Gear is not in that point, because uh, you're expecting a dash up throw in a lot of cases. Nice two eight. Did they get that full follow up we're looking for? With the guard cancel from Serena. Lock on this oh, what a beautiful reversal here. I do believe we try to go for hands, but the ability didn't come out there, so probably not. Just got opened up with a regular button, and Char Char real smooth with it. Yeah, he put the set <laughs> Char Char real smooth. But now he set up the, uh, the set up to a nice run of 2H, catching him trying to jump out. Very, very smooth so far. Got the corner game, but the beautiful jump out coming out from Serena Pinguina. Uh-uh. Give me some good, solid damage into what? No! Mistimed the meaty, unfortunate, and the tables have turned. Okay. Delay 5L. Please tell me we got it. Okay, we got the block. So now Char Char able to continue pressure. That was quite a 2 well interrupt on the uh, Raging Strike there. Definitely. Another 
grab set up there. Yep. Caught you right there. You wanted to sit there and hold it because you got AA for jumping out last time. And then he yoked up right before the, the block starts. That's uh, such a scary situation. Vera is, man, this character's a little star. Guard cancel out. Yo, no, Holy like ladder, get off me, please. And another guard cancel. So a big bet from Char Char and a great opportunity for Serena if she so chooses. So we know with these very brave checks in between the fields. Right? So that could turn into some solid damage for the carry, but able to work way out with the five L's. Five L's. Consistently oh, punish. Yes, I like it. Serena cooking up right now. What you think you press? I love a DP after. <laughs> After negative press, it's, it's beautiful stuff. And it's always dash up, transform, throw. Like always, every single. There's a pause in the action. You can count on Vera dashing up to you for a throw in the transform. Right, Holy ladder corner. Attempted a high low setup, but unfortunately, Chachar did not wake up in time there. Yeah, demon flip action. Just decides to push off. I like it. Spin one of those bravery points. Okay. Another one. It's scary out here. Nice. This is going to be huge. It's going to lead to a guess for game. Yeah, this, is, this is not going to be tough. Right here. One more touch. We'll do it. Nice. Baby, you didn't get the jump out. No, Serena, you had it. There it is. Okay. <laughs> The guard what? cancel was crazy because it should have been Char Char coming with a punish after, or at least still holding the turn. The jump out from Serena was absolutely insane and unfortunately did not spend into Skybound Art because that could have cost you. But Serena, once again, with the W, even after the late tech situation. Exactly. Yeah, that was a scary one. You know Char Char can't be happy about putting that one away. Tried to do the jump L, got DP. Nothing doing, and get your behind in this corner. All right, little shrimp girl got something to say to you. Yes, sir. Nice. I like the pop here with Raging Strike. We're going to spend the Skybound Art to rebuild that uh, back bravery point. Rebuild one, one. Yeah. You know that was a, a, a brave uh, counter. You know that's what it was. There's no way to do that out raw. Unfortunate. Beautiful jump from Serena. Making it count. Crying shame. Nice. Got the Holy Ladder. Close heavy and already got that guard cancel out. Two pips down on the battle points for Char Char. Okay, there we go. Nice pick up the close heavy. Nice conversion. Mm -hmm. Big damage. Josh tries to go for the grab. Another good jump out from Serena. Oh, put yourself right back in the corner. Yeah. Nice little jump out there. Huh? Huh? Doesn't confirm off the six to tell, but still trying to make something shake. Got some good pressure. Yes, that's, oh, that one didn't get baited. Yo, the flip kick, the B. All right, all right. I like it. Battle. Me likey. Round a piece, though. Jesus. That was beautiful. Well, we got the hop here. The EX hands. Yoked up. Nice, brave counter. Yeah, I, I understand it. It's like... I'm not the hugest fan of using your Brave Counters too often, but this character is so scary when she gets close. But a lot of it is just, just, she just, uh, she stays on you and does so much damage. Oh no, baiting the grab. All right, and well, then Dire Straits. Yeah, no stocks available. We're going to probably fish for a Super Skybound Art to build back here. I would hope so because the life deficit you're at is insane. Got a couple air dashes, but dropped early on the flurry. Oh, yeah, Ooh. ended. I like it. Is this clutch mode activated? Is this possible? You think it's happening? Uh, we're now uh -oh. in chip territory ship here. Imminent. Yeah. Didn't get chipped, but it's going to go Serena Penguina's way. Yes. In the, the battle of the beautiful names, Serena's going to take that one. <laughs> so the pandemic, they've been killing it. Uh, this game, honestly, I can't think of any other crew that really deserves a game like this than Grand Blue. They really fought you the nail for this one throughout the pandemic. Of course, all of you did, but this one definitely deserves it side to side. And here we go. Yoshi on uh, Ladiva Demarcus with Zeta. Another one of those characters that is definitely seen as one of the higher tier characters. Yeah. She is 
it's just the potential for straight hits to do so much damage. The corner carry, the mix. This character has dang near everything you can ask for. The parry is so good. We're, we're talking about parry, but the offense is prolific oh. right now. Yeah. I'll see you next lifetime. That's definitely Rap City. Perfect. Yeah, uh, she does have a lot of great tools. She's been related to Soul Bad Guy, and as a Soul Bad Guy player, I don't see it. I think you're all crazy. You don't see it? Because I of the far slash? It. Wow, that's it? The far and close slash? That's all we got? That's <laughs> not all. Nope. Uh -huh. Well, this that's ain't Gunflame to me. <laughs> it's SDP. a better version of Gunflame. <laughs> uh, yo, if you lost an ultimate skill, try to get some pressure going, but nope. The old stabby stabby from mid screen, <laughs> keeping you at bay. And this matchup is looking super rough for Yoshi. Yeah, it's tough. You have to try to deal with this projectile. And, you know, great spot dodges and rolls from Yoshi, able to get the SPD in. But, of course, as grapplers are, you know, we're used to this point, right? Health is a resource in closing the gap. But that whiff is going to be huge. Nice raging, raging chain follow up. Nice combo. Got some big damage here, putting him into a final. Oh, the jump in works. No AA was ready. It's gonna be huge damage. Yes, spend it. Okay. This isn't. This isn't enough. No way. Ref, what you got? Yeah. My dear sweet baby Jesus. You gotta have battle points to live. That's all there is to it. You gotta have battle points. Oh, that was crazy! That was so much damage! Oh my gosh, tap him out. Tried to go for the AA, Marcus. Do some damage with the corner. Uh, uh, uh. Slam a jamma. Plus range. Yeah, I like that. Spin it. Get right back in the corner. I did all this work. I'm absolutely spending a bravery point to make sure I keep it. I know, that's right. This is the perfect character to do oh, something no. like that with. The 2H still is up. One of those buttons that needs to be blessed here for Ladiva. She really needs help on that 2H there. I thought they improved it since the last game. What happened, Ladiva players? Where is Cheesecake? I'm going to be that guy. Nah, keep it the same. Keep it the same. I need all grapplers to suffer, even though I like playing grapplers. Grapplers cannot be high tier, dude. Don't ever let it happen. You will watch the most volatile gameplay you've ever seen in your life. But it's fun. It's fun for the player, not the not anybody fighting it. Alright, drop kick. That 6 6 H comes through. Already got that. Guard cancel to continue further into the west side of the screen. And zipping and zooming out, you gotta chase again. That is. That's demoralizing for me. I get mentally exhausted by an interaction like that, 100%. Like, it's just, uh. oh, right, dog, That's go. one of those ones that'll have me at the house. Uh, like, oh my god, man. You know what I mean? You yeah. gotta feel the pain. Nice check there, trying to get, trying to jump out, do a little instant air dive, and now eating the whole combo. The limit was reached, but you got reset into a round for Yoshi for the win. Beauty. Battle two, engage. I cried Ooh. over that. It is fun, Lucas. Nah, guys, don't, don't allow fun. him to get away with this. Nah. Don't let him get away with this. No swear. Grapplers cannot be top tier. Yo, the ultimate skill Lariat. And this stage makes the echo of the foot. Wait, that's the commentator. Who am I kidding? Ladiva comes with her <laughs> own commentator. That is so sweet. Nice. Oh, no. I think we were expecting a quick fallout there. Um, and that is not at all what Yoshi got. He just got a full punish for that mistake. Super unfortunate. After all that work, just one missed uh, input. Or, sorry, not even missed input. Missed opportunity. We'll go with that. Oh, this isn't a missed opportunity. That Lariat pulled up from downtown. Uh, what we got? Yeah, make all the plus, plus runs again. All right, guard cancel out, no BP, but you're in a situation where it is a single touch for both sides, and Yoshi with the scoop. Yeah, scoop a doop. That is one one. Well, what we got from Demarcus? We, we just going straight into the rematch or switching characters? Yeah, going right back in there with the Zeta. I'm not mad at it. 
I feel it, like Yoshi's doing a really good job rushing down, but he's got a good Oh, absolutely. It's simply because uh, Rayma actually donated $5 into the Macarino to speed things up, to jump right back in. I totally get it. Thank you so much, Rayma, these buffs. Heck yeah. Mo money, mo fun. Pulling up on that block after the smooth walk up. <laughs> that guard break there with the ultimate skill. 6XL whiffed, and so did the armor DP from Demarcus here. So we're getting a couple SPDs for your trouble. Guard cancel out of the corner. Oh no! Fortunate. Gonna be up some good damage back into the zoning. Didn't want to go for any kind of rush down there. Trying to stay away from Ladiva, the monstrous damage. And you are definitely toast if anything hits, really, because yeah, we, yeah. we've been talking about it. Yeah, yeah, you're oh, no. No. The jump is good. You're done. <laughs> If, if it would have activated, that was the call for Yoshi to make. It was just a frame or two early. Like, just so close to get the anti-air grab, but it would have been a different story. No bravery points. That was killing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was Rap City at that time. A little more buttonsy this time, trying to play some keep away, which is running straight up into the yoke. Oh, yeah. Hold this full combo. Try to hold up, scared of the grab, and the classic. The Ladiva Yamaj. Oh, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Nice and sweet. 6XL, but not able to get the pick up too high for that. Jumping in at that range? What do we think is gonna happen to grab? I don't care, Yoshi, with the W there. <laughs> That was that was definitely a situ behind down jump in, right? Like that was uh, that was a check knowing that uh, Demarcus wanted to jump out. That's so clean. Oh, yeah, stuff yeah. Preemptively, that could have been air throw or even just a pick up air to air. Oh, mm -hmm. like after. All right, well, beam. Good roll. Yoshi's been just absolutely patient with this walk down. Like they're so capable of being on the dodge to get into this range where they can ultimate skill lariat and hold the corner position. Guard cancel works out. Walks up SPD. Oh no. Getting caught holding up every time. DeMarc is struggling in this corner situation. The keep away was so good in round one. There we go. Okay. We got an escape. This is the moment of opportunity no. here. Fully committed to the run. Skybound arc through the beam thanks to the invulnerability and will get the kill. Yoshi for the win. Bottom red dot victory. <laughs> Battle one. And here we go. The CAG in the building versus the top tier. Lazy Ruin versus Oz. Yeah, you know, it's your point earlier, right? Nier can just send death, and it's so difficult for Cagliostra to really get set up with her hexes. All right, already pressured in the corner. That's a plus situation there, and you gotta guess again. And what makes it worse is the fact that the lower the card count is for Nier, the more damage she's capable of doing uh, with death. I actually think that's an insane thing. <laughs> like, I mean, it's it's how she works in, in the actual game, too. Oh, in uh, the gotcha game? In the gotcha, yeah. But she still has that counter. I believe she does get more damage off of uh, lowering her card count. This is very good. Oz turned this whole game around after looking like he was in big trouble. What a way he, to make that count. And you also see... Uh, that change happening a little more consistently, right? And in the corner, every time uh, Oz set up like, the far H or even just goes for the um, spin wheel on top of it, uh, which is actually like a jump H, I believe, um, it shut down uh, the startup of death. So it's not as easy as it was before. Of course, EX Flurry, which is just your EX uh, spe special, is going to be able to come out with that vulnerability, but uh, ooh, perfect. That was beautiful. And one of the things that I think uh, helps Kag in this matchup that we haven't even seen yet is the corner pressure where Kag can put the trap down and either, you know, try to make you guess between grabs. Because that way, if you see that wake up come out, you know, it, it's, it's a way to nullify it. And there is the wake up, and there's going to be a big confirm here. Yeah, very good cross under here. Goes to the H. Didn't set up medium death. I think we wanted one more route on the corner combo and just dropped it there. Lazy could have held the turn if we went with medium uh, flurry. I mean, the situation was still there. I feel like either either way, like your, your option is definitely the preferred, but I think that they still could have kept corner. Another wake up is going to happen here. Huh? Yeah, go straight into it. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Just 
want to deal with any of the damage mitigation, especially after one juggle. Could have gotten one more here, especially... You probably could have gotten close to kill. Now you have one stock left, and you're down for it here. It's one of those interesting, like, give-and-take situations where you could have spent the install and got endless pressure with death at that point instead of just canceling right into your skybound arc. You'd think that the, the install would have been the better play. I mean, it was a guess for game situation, honestly. Right, you had to confirm there. Like, immediately after that, you still have one more touch. It's just another option that was available for you because you didn't have the kill, so then you may as well have your tool guaranteed for you. Nah, I can dig that. I can dig that. Ooh. You see death without a commission there. Now, repositioning, getting some good combo damage here. Side switch. All right, there we go. Heavy. Couple steps to make sure we got the positioning. Where are we at? That was no BP, right? Yeah, that was ripped. We're dead. Oh, yeah, that was for sure. <laughs> that was Rap City. We knew that. We knew that. Especially at three cards. Like, that's even more damage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. And so, looking good for both players out here. We got one game on the side of Oz. Trying to stay alive. Nice grab. Yeah. Close to the east side of the screen, so great spend. It goes to the... Yo, you know, you know, there is a gap where you have the 5L right there. It is a situation where Lazy could either continue pressure or try to go for a throw, and Oz bet it on a jab. You got to take risks like that. You got to try to make those little decisions when you're given opportunities. Oh, my goodness. Two L's. Nice guard cancel. And it's an easy guard cancel there because Death was too far away to try to make a follow-up. And Lazy Ruin going to get pushed back. Nice. Skybound guard. Oh. Hey. That was a good save show. Yeah. That was, that was clean. Goodness. That was clean. So we got 1-1. One, one. Lazy Ruin making it on the board here. After a very, in the first game, I feel like it was very convincingly in Oz's favor. But Lazy Ruin figuring something out here in this match. Nice. Jump H. Respecting the space of Cagliostro and a 2L. Falls through. Not quite tight enough on that pressure. Dash up throw. Will shut down the armor for the flurry startup. Lockdown right here. Scary, scary situation. Pull the into the trap. Yeah. Hold this Yamaji. Ooh, drop. <laughs> Talk about drop. Drop down on the noggin <laughs> with the throne. Nice, clean performance from Oz. Battle 2. Yeah, I mean, we saw the struggle. Really wanted out of the corner. Tried to go for that guard cancel. Just didn't come through. Got that Raging Strike shut down thanks to uh, new ultimate skill from Cagliostro. That uh, Kirby down B, as it were. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Falling down on the cranium. Oh, no. Good no, 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 no. That happens sometimes. If you get too high in the combo route, you want to go for a 2H instead of 5H off of those volleyballs from here, and that way you can still maintain that position a little bit better. You still get that uh, medium skill to lock down safety in the corner. Nice block of the guard cancel, but again, because of the, you know, the better uh, timing where you can punish out death, able to shut it down. I like it. I like what I'm seeing here. Ooh, let's get the ultimate skill trap. And the wake up's gonna get it again. No, not able to confirm. Back throw, forward throw, and that's gonna be enough for Oz taking it two to one over Lazy Room. That was Beelzebub. I get that. I, I see it all the time where Beelzebub is going through that struggle. You feel me? Like, I'm trying it, dog. Like, his, his two edge is great. Like, I'm trying it, big. Oh, hey, shout out to King Slim for the sub a dub, the, the tier one. But yeah, talking about Billsy, we got my boy in the building. I think this is a pretty solid matchup. I mean, it's it's kind of rough out here, but yes, having that DP, the little orb, to be able to get out of some of these pressure strings, the frame traps, it's definitely gonna make it a little easier on you. Yep, uh, yep, that's a, uh, you know, the social distance bubble boy, able to shut down on both sides there. Wow, was it jumping out? Oh, that is unfortunate. Freaking love it. That's some I will. Uh uh. Not gonna be enough. Spinning those EX black flies. Tries a little EX dive kick. Just fishing for that last hit. DP, get that 6XL off me. Unhand me. Was tragic because I think Useless tried to go for the aerial dive kick and only got jump H instead of the one that they were looking for, the EX dive. Because Seika definitely attempted the anti air op option and just was not able to connect because the dive kick was there to begin with. 
Seika having a rough go at it here. Can't really get anything started. This is beautiful pressure from Useless. Oh! He throw a, threw a close M and uh, didn't press anything afterwards. And now we get the game started from Seika. Death out of commission. A nice spot dodge, but it wasn't your turn. Straight to the skybound. Yeah, much like the uh, you know, empty hand from six, right? You know, the spot dodge was a very specific time. I'm like, you can do that. You gotta be a little bit earlier on the reaction to it in order to get your punish. Otherwise, it's still be Elzebub's turn. Gravity well will get that pressure and the kill here from around and the game. Clean, clean, clean game. Victory. Useless playing this matchup. Textbook, a little bit of keep away, pull up on the block with the dive kicks here and there. Just doing perfect right. I love what he's doing. Man. Nice frame trap on the black flies. Pull him in. Push him out, pull him in. That's the good old Bills of Buff. Nice. Yo, dash up throw. Hadn't really presented that option, right? Oh, bless the toes. Straight to the skybound. Spin it up. I freaking love the fact that you, that's like a command super, you know what I mean? You get to hold it. Oh, I love how it looks. There's some of those. So, so you must be a fan of Lucilius uh, command super. Right there. For no, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure. I love Lucilius. That, I told you, that's the new character. Yeah. I'm trying, to, trying to get down. My combo game is lacking with that character, oh. but oh man, this combo game is not lacking. Mm -mm. Doesn't yeah, go for a side switch. Oh, does go for the side yes. switch. Okay. Wants to wait for the plus frames on the medium uh, special before we go for that. I like it, I like it. Good spot dodge there, actually. Very sneaky. Huge. Um, yeah, out of cards. See, so this is the blunder, right? Like, you had to kill here. And you're nowhere near getting the install. So you did all your cancels, no more cards available. You're pretty close to victory, and you will almost just even get a touch. So close. I love it. Spend everything he's got. He's trying to make sure he gets something shaking before death comes back. And the wake up in between the frame trap. You saw the useless. desperation build on Two, Fando. Three. The oh, useless yes. was really trying to get the finish because they. Look, you have, what is it? It's 18 seconds, 20 seconds before uh, death comes back. So send it all, right? Until death is arriving, because you only have to deal with triple attack here from um, from here. Exactly. He tries, he tries everything within his power. I love that setup. Can't do anything about it, especially when it's a game situation. Yes, sir, too far for that to work. And here goes Useless, full corner. Nice damage. Uh, spin the ultimate skill. Here we go, Saker. Work his way out. Gonna get some good damage here. Uh, oh, build up enough bar. Do we see it? Yeah. There it is. I like it. I like it. I mean, you just stripped all battle points. You're not killing quite yet. We're a little bit high on card count. That but... was the check of all checks. Definitely was oh. done so. Ooh. Dash up. What is the play here? That one was so clean to evade. Seika, smart with it, but the dive kick straight into the face, slam into the floor. Oh, yes, sir. Useless. Useless bag. It's not just one Rotating? No, no, no. The other game was rotating. Exert was oh, a rotating yeah, game. Grand Blue is always sun. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Victory. What's on the docket for next week? Uh, the rotating game. No, the top of the head right now. It's Frosty Fossils, that's right. We're not going to be here. Oh, okay. well. All right. But Zombie Moo is playing near, of course, up against Tufani's Grimnir. It makes so much sense that he plays this game. It, it just makes some purchases. Oh, yeah. You're not really going to have a whole lot of turns as Grimnir here. This is going to be pretty tough. You have to try to really jab out, know the timings of uh, death to really able to push out. This drill, though, actually really fun. Bang Shishigami uh, flashback from this character. I don't even know what the reference was you just said. It's a Blaze Blue character, Ninja, that also uses seals to dash around the screen. Just like Answer gotcha. and Guilty Gear. Okay, okay, okay. You spit, you spit. This character is so cool, man. Like, I really love the, the combos, the way that you can set up the mobility across the screen with those, those orbs. It's so cool. It's looking like he's having a rough day yeah. in the neighborhood in this matchup. Making it a little harder for him to set up. Oh, this is, oh no, that's a setup. Jesus. <laughs> Have to push right into it here. Take to the skies. No setup quite yet. I don't think you really necessarily need that for Grimnir in the corner with this eight-way dash. Like, you had the opponent in the corner. I think you're good enough there. Right? 
but it does help because you get the uh, dash hit for each one of these seals that we just see right here. So you get the full corner carry um, with that opportunity to get the hit. Man, those, those good old grounding uh, loops that you do. Keep himself from going in the combo limit, gets the corner carry. Exactly what you said. So good, so good. Uh, that's why you see, like, every time he gets an opportunity, oh, I, I bet you he was about to try it there. But every time he gets an opportunity and neutral is reset, he just pops that instantly. But one out there, right? He doesn't want to come in and do too much. Utilizing it early. Oh, yeah. Jack versus clean. Oh, jeez. Any other character that was not going to reach here. But because you have death at your side, you're going to face a near-death experience with that anti-air. Good stuff here from Zombie. Oh, yeah. He's cooking with grease, gas, whatever you want to cook. He's doing everything perfect in this matchup. He's doing a great job. But Tufani did start to come alive there towards the end of that one. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get these seal setups there. Spent both of them on that, and Zombie did not crack open quite yet. Zombie's just being real patient. He knows once he gets started. Oh, yeah. You know, he, he doesn't have to worry too bad. People are already scared of the wake-up, right? So you don't have to really mm -hmm. panic too much on defense as his character. Nice check. Yes, Skybound Art. Yeah, quite literally, like, Nier is that basically two-touch character, right? Like, given the state of how cards work, as long as she gets the hit, it's going to be good. The 5L. You caught dashing in. An on landing recovery. Let's just challenge with five out. Nice. Yeah, this character is definitely two touch McGee. You know what I mean, it's the yeah, exactly like you said. The way the cards work, and then the fact that pressure is so ongoing when you finally have to block, like you're gonna use it for, for at some point. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just makes you so much more damage as the match goes on. Whoa. Yeah, 6XL, six, six getting it started. Oh, I like the it. light special instead of medium. Traditionally, you go for medium for extended uh, you know, plus frames, but Zombie Moon kept it short, simple. I'm gonna catch Tufani from jabbing. Oh, no. Nice conversion. Yeah, that was a really good 2U pick up there. Ooh, that combo. Oh my god. Definitely one of the swaggiest characters in this game, for sure. Not enough. I was definitely worried about that, but I'm glad that you helped the button to go for the cut in animation there, Tufani. You earned the W in my book, regardless for that one. <laughs> All right, here we are. Got him around on there. Has an opportunity here. Death out of commission. Pull up. Do it. Don't zone. Pull up on him. Oh, no. You did it at the wrong time. It's going to be a confirm for zombie move. Set up. No guard canceled there. Just held it. <laughs> There's no escape. That's that's the tough thing of just like zombie is just locked in. Where are you gonna go? You gonna come drilling at me as a two H on your on your doorstep right now? And unfortunately, the medium setup here from zombie will open up to body for a kill. Yeah, he at that point he kind of just like both times he tried to utilize his air dash. He just. Diva. Believe in victory. Yoshi back in the building. Played a really, really good game earlier. I mean, we saw him warm up because at first, you know, it looked like he was having a rough time against that Zeta, but uh, really picked it up towards the end and his pressure became unguessable. Right, right. And Seabats, thank you so much with the raid here. Welcome into the Grand Blue Fancy versus Top 48. I love it, I love it. Yep, in the space where you don't love it. But that was a quick get out. <laughs> Spin a bravery point, super jump over the top. Smart yeah. stuff. Lubro definitely been putting in work with this uh, uh, UL here. That was supposed to be her quote unquote like, DPS thing. Kind of like the uh, guard point from Zoe. Uh, not working the exact same way, but same animation ish. Same plus there. Look at this. This is Wagner. Rush down nice. frame trap monster. It's like whenever you thought you had the right guess to get out or when you thought you were supposed to check, it's never gonna be the same. It's never the right time. Yeah, she is definitely tough to you know, I like this version of UL. Like she was very interesting in the previous version of the game, uh, but it was kind of difficult to get going because she was easy to call out in a lot of circumstances, but she had like a ton of reward for anti-air opportunities, and now I feel like she kind of plays more into the style that they intended her for, which is that rush down that frame trap heavy style of play. She definitely got outshone by characters that did what she did, just 
way better than like six and uh, Belial being another example. Not nah, for sure. That is for sure. Golly, look at the damage output from Yoshi. Uh, yep, straight into Skybound. Close that one out. Oh, that was a two touch game. Rap. Good old rap. You know the thing. The thing is that that uh, makes Ladiva stand out to me when it comes to grapplers. Most of the time, grapplers can't combo like that. Like they they can, but like it's just they just don't have elongated combos like that. But Ladiva be out here making you watch cutscenes. Oh yeah, like Ladiva routing is just so fun to watch because she definitely just holds you in the corner. You're not gonna get out for a while, and you get tossed like maybe three, four different times in a single combo. Right. Oh, it's got the two you off the reversal. The little shimmies didn't quite know what to do with it in Lupro getting scooped. Yeah, went for the brave counter or something right there. Ready to strike came out, and I'll see you next lifetime once again. Goodness. Yeah, that damage output from Ladiva is definitely going to be trouble here for Lupro on UL. It's just it's in this matchup. It's so rough for Lupro uh, or for UL because oh. UL plays into. You have to come over, right? Like, you're playing yeah. into what Ladiva wants. You don't really have anything to keep Ladiva away. And yeah. so, oh, that was a good one. That was a good bait, but doesn't fully confirm. Yeah, the other thing to worry about, too, is just, like, all of her like, really good normals are just so close range, to your point, right? Like, you're going right into it. You don't have anything to kind of counter poke, really. You have to work on your shimmy game. We're starting to see that appear here for Lupro. Won't kill. Oh, actually, no, you will. You will. I just checked the meter. Double check because I saw the raging strike. I'm like, well, wait. <laughs> Pop that raging strike. Got really, really close to uh, to combo limit, but uh, you know these UL players, that, those combos always look like they're gonna drop, and he gets sky bounded at the end. Like half the time, I get hit by that combo. I don't think that that super's coming. <laughs> Ooh, nice. You know what? I talk about bad buttons on UL. Represents like that really going that far eight. That button is the, I call that the God button. My homie plays uh, UL and that button just gives me so much trouble. It's so good. It yeah. walks you into them like she, like she wants. It's cancelable. It just does everything perfectly. Oh, excuse me, the far end. Yeah, that's the far end. But yeah, it, it, it pulls you like, she does have that double hit, easy to confirm. Oh my goodness. Thank that God was for yeah, that guard cancel came out just in the nick of time. This raging strike not following up because we are right in the face of UL with that guard break, so we are able to press into it for a finish. 2 0 oh, victory for Yoshi. That was clean, too. He used the raging strike on the landing frames of uh, Lupo. Have a nice day is definitely one of those players you're going to see up here all the time. So oh, yeah. It's going to be a rough one for Yoshi going into that battle. I, I believe that's a knockdown drag out match. Grimnir coming back up with Fairy. So this should be... No way, this is Diaphone right now, right? I missed it. I didn't see the names either. Is this Diaphone? I don't know. Rippy, okay, all right. Uh, yeah, because Diaphone is not playing Grimnir right now. We saw the Grimnir earlier. He dropped to Zoe thanks to uh, the sponsor uh, of the... Oh, Lucilius for Grimnir, Ninja Tank. Thank you, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, but Trippy on Grimnir with Nuclear Cheese returning here with the Fairy. Oh my goodness. Start for 5 H. Oh yeah. I love it. Alright, so back into this nuke. Got a couple of those good old Oracle screen. They'll be able to use them, use them to traverse. Never mind! Spins! Spins the ultimate drill kick to get straight over there. And that's going to be a way to skip the nuke and not deal with their zoning. But a nice, nice raging strike into the skybound. It's going to be some big damage here. Nuclear cheese. After getting terrorized, it's big damage. Trying to bring this back. It's close, man. I feel like it's like, this might be a one-touch situation, also oh, for, uh, for nuclear. It, it is on both sides, very much. <laughs> yeah, I was just worried about like range, like what he could he could confirm to. Close. Oh. Yeah, now he can for sure close that range, but oh. The entry from Trippy over the top, crossed up. Nuclear Cheese losing that one. Gosh, Grimnir is such a fun character. I'd love to see more of this character in general. I agree. The character's so saucy, man. 
Like the combo routes, I feel like I get to see more. Like sometimes you, you can see characters and you see a lot of DC combos. This character just does so much. Yeah, and that's just accentuated by the fact that we have these seals that we can teleport on using the unique dash. Uh, that really helps out the navigation of the character. You get some really cool aerial routes, some approaches here. That do get interrupted by nuclear cheese with a grounded normal. Yeah, that, that ultimate uh, drill kick. That thing is really skipping nuke. Oh, the Ooh. bait! The same jump. Hold this, Yamaji. Not going to be able to go into Sky Down, so not going to be enough. Yes, here. Yep. Yo, know, if he didn't spin the extra one, he was going to fall down and punish. Well, we got the guard canceled. Nice spot dodge, though, from Nuclear. Tough. This is, this is drill kick the matchup. Yes, that, now I'm seeing it. <laughs> That's going to be the bane of Nuclear Cheese's existence. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. You ready? All right. Set up. Get something going. Both of them put their setups out. Right, it's going to work out in Trippy's favor. Get nice something going here. That was yeah. Bail out. You, you get away from the seals so that you know, it doesn't open you up too much with the uh, routes that Trippy might have. And the drill not working out just too far away for that one. Yeah, he's, he's been a little bit more aware. <laughs> he's able to... Uh, he was able to spot dodge finally. The other ones just kept kept him uh, on startup or something, right? Being, being a little bit more patient and being a little bit more aware, that'll lead to him not getting clipped by that so much. I feel like that's literally how he lost the first game. Every interaction started with that. Good attempt to interrupt right there for Nuclear. Like, we're not asleep at the wheel, but I can't believe 6XL was still able to come out after the seal setup. Good corner dash with Trippy. Should be able to seal out. Oh, you didn't use the animation? Sorry. All right, that's it. You've lost. Uh, move on to the next round. No cut in? Are you kidding me? What kind of Grimnir is this? I was trying to figure it out, dog. I thought you were going to pull up on his block. He tried it right there. Tried to pull up. Still clipped him. Not going to be able to fly over that low whip. Oh, yeah. There's the confirm. Who are you jumping at? Get out of my airspace. I am the god of wind. Grimnir's not a god of wind. What is Grimnir? Uh, Grimnir is one of the... Or, no, Grimnir isn't one of the 12 guardians, right? Like, I don't... I don't think so. I don't know. See, that's my big crux. I don't know all of the lore of Grand Blue at all because I've not really played the gacha game. I learn it as it comes out. The chat helps me out. Nah, that's for sure. Somebody said God <laughs> of War. Stop it. Grimnir is not a God of War. It, it's, could no. be. Could be. Look at that bamboo shoot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is a pretty godly weapon. I ain't gonna lie. Nice spot dodge. An aspect of Damn Odin, it. huh? Thank you, vibrating. An aspect of Odin. Interesting. And there it is, one more time. That good old oh. spiral arrow. Oh, 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 what do we got? Did you press something? No. I like that guard cancel. Yeah, keep him there. No, ultimate skill, not able to get that punish there. I'm telling you, dog, this is ultimate drill to match up, dog. Oh! That was scary. Tried to meet him in the air, got clipped. Air to air. What's the play here? There it is! Ultimate drill to match up! Yes, sorry, Bobby! Yeah. Trippy taking it two to zero against New Blue Cheese. And I, I mean, it comes out so fast. But has the caveat of a 12 second cooldown on abilities until we start leveling up. And that is forever and a half in a game like this. With Mega Dosage opting for Zeta. And I like it. He just pulled straight up on him to start this one and say, you know what? We're not playing any space game. I'm going to make you hold this corner. And, and like you say, oh, that was such a nice way to evade and get him up off him with that medium teleport. Right, here we go. Medium, but no follow-up into specials because we're out, right? We could go for ultimate skill, which I think helps a lot. I think that's something early on we might see more of from Lucilius is that we are spending our meter for ultimate skills. That was supposed to be ultimate skill DP, and it did not come out in time for Diaphoam here. Mega Dosage with a massive corner carry. Massive corner carry, massive damage. Nice. There goes one of those ultimate skills utilized. Got some good damage. Whoa. Woke up, presses something, but it was not the correct thing. Mega Dosage got himself clipped, and Diaphone taking the first round. Battle two. Engage. 
Yeah, that close heavy. The whole spindle problem. Nice armor DP. Coast to coast carry. Oh, a little bit too far on the EX dive. I, I guarantee Warren is the same uh, same side thrust ender. Utilize those swords out of stance. Build up a little bit of your levels. Oh, medium doesn't get, or actually that was heavy on the, or teleport there. Doesn't get punished, but we do have the close H. Big punish here. Can't quite reach. I, I've been having issues with that. She does the stabby stabby. Try to reach your quick five. Even your, uh, your five M won't reach that range. So it's hard to check her. Let's kind of like walk up a little bit. We ain't doing no walking right now. We're doing some hair talking. Carried him on over, but Diaphone, beautiful way to work his way out here. Didn't have to hold any corner pressure. Nice confirm. That's some great damage. Oh my gosh, and that's it. Yeah, into the range of strike. Oh, that bait is just gorgeous. I feel like if he used uh, if he used his EX parry on the, on the wake up there, that could have spelled trouble for that. He could have just held it, you know, parried him and got a full confirm. But I mean, I guess he went for the grab. Nice bait. There's that far medium you were talking about too. Like, Lucilius has some great far reaching normals, uh, especially when backed up by the unique action stance, which gets you these swords. We're seeing right now, that was the medium, so we're plus frames there. Mm -hmm. But also, if you, if you don't follow up into like a special after, or, or like actually combo with a button, you lose out on your special. If you go from stance to sword toss and don't do anything after, you have a cooldown on your special. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's not as long, but yeah, you definitely yeah. get a cooldown until that sword does come back. You know, so it's like a, it, it's it's a light round. swift round, but it's a uh, it's it's like double edge, right? Like you're building level while in stance, but you're also yeah you're spending your cooldowns a little bit. So it changes the routes of uh, pressure you have to do. So you have to really yeah. be aware of what you're utilizing. And, and that's why Diaphone utilizing the medium sword toss was important there, like this one here, because if you don't press with the button after, you give up your special. So light, I had to wait a little bit before I could go for my special again. You saw the small delay into the teleport forward. Nice, far medium. Don't follow back our ultimate skill here. They all go for hard knockdowns. Nice. The grab, try the bait. There it is, he loves the ultimate parry. Empty jump, Jokic, I like it. It's a good bait. I mean, I feel like he still would have got hit if he woke up, but I like the neutral jump into the fall down. Ooh. This little carry. That was clean. What a needy setup. These stacks. Oh, trying to go I for the stand know. medium. Are you kidding me? The stand medium didn't connect, and we still got a follow up from Mega Dosage. Caught him with that parry, man. It's just so scary uh, pressuring this character. Mm -hmm. The reversal just leads into so much damage. Yeah, I just, I don't envy Diaphone in this matchup at all. But it's it's so tough to get the ball rolling for uh, Massilius. You don't carry over stock into the next round. So, you know, most much like all stocks in, in this game, they don't carry over. So you reset the work every single time. You get about level one or two with a single combo, but look at the cooldown. Like, level one and two only has a 10 second cooldown on these abilities. After that, you do get better returns. Mm -hmm. So it level takes a while to get there, right? He's at level yeah. three, but they're both at half health, right? So yep. And then you have to deal with this kind of stuff right here, full carry to get your God. behind up out of here. Yeah, it's rough out here, man. Magic yeah, is not the sweetest. If you're Lucilius, your ideal spot is level three because you're going to have a six second cooldown on your specials. You'll notice that Lucilius doesn't have EX specials. He just has ultimate skills. So he does have heavy versions of his buttons, but not the EX version like the rest of the cast. Nice Raging Chain follow up. Nice medium. Woo. Very good tech here from Mega. Be honest, he was so brave for going from that heavy stance like that Jeez. right in front of her. It yeah. worked out, but golly, he was brave. Nice. Perfect KO from Diaphone. You know, sometimes you gotta take those gambles, and it worked out for him. That's the thing. You're you're playing with your opponents. Like, have you been doing your homework on the entire cast, right? So this is one of those things where going into stance after a button is not like a, a free cancel for Lucilius. It is your turn if Lucilius tries to charge button or tries to go into stance after button depending upon the previous thing. So like if it's a special pinwheel, then yeah, you're gonna be waiting a little bit because pinwheel gives you uh, uh, plenty of blocks on it's a safe option for Lucilius. 
<laughs> Outside of that, though, can't really get that off nice. He does the parry a little too far to get the combo. Diaphone still in safe ground, gets the grab. And now, one more situation should be it for him. Tries the instant air, no good from Mega Dosage. Ooh, I can't believe it. From downtown, you put yourself in a precarious position to try to go for a full screen parry and die. Okay. He's fighting the ghost of uh, ghost of the past. Having to deal with his old, old character, Lunar. Definitely one of the best uh, tags out here for sure. But man, you got to deal with one of the best players out here. Def definitely one of the best in a zombie move. Getting it started, that 6-6L pressure. He couldn't find his opportunity. Big damage. Not going to go into Skybound. No Skybound, no medium lockdown pressure. Just that confident in our neutral, we're going to open up again. Yeah, Skybound's coming here, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, yo. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, you know, a guy like myself, I would have ripped it. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he was confident in his, in, his, uh, in his neutral. He knew he was going to get another touch. He got the job done. It, it's so, like, honestly, have fun playing some volleyball in here. That setup, again, uh, a great video to check out is... Uh, Oh my goodness, Junior's video on how to uh, play Nier. Like, it is a one, it's a funny video, but also it, it's true. Like really setting up with Nier is a very easy um, struggle, right? You have your 6XL, um, you just send out uh, death, you're mashing death on block. Now it's a little bit trickier because of that, uh, how much easier it is to kind of jab out death on startup and on recovery, but at the same time, put in this work on the corner. Hey. Lunar, please! Nah, okay, this, is, this is so rough, man. A lot of people get terrorized. You're just out here getting jumped. <laughs> You're by yourself. You can't really get nothing going. It just, it just feels bad in front of everybody, too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. Ooh, 5 H connected? But again, mashing out death. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I've said this a couple times on previous... Uh, TNS is like Nier is a persona character at the end of the day. Just the way that she works. That's hilarious. I like that. I like that. Cause she definitely feels like even when you laugh her, like she definitely she feels like she's playing a different game. Right. Because she very much is compared to the rest of the cast. <laughs> that is for sure. Lunar wishing he could actually even play the game right now. Zombie Moo is just serving hot biscuits at the moment. Yes, okay. Yeah. He got the uh he hit death, but he didn't get anything off of it. Jump move is just too aggressive. Setup is here. No side switch. Just sit right in front of him. Patience. Yep. Just want to give it that corner. And look at that patient. Like, you have to. Because death is lingering. We've not activated, and you don't want to overextend because that will be an immediate EX on uh, regular special. Nice jab out. See, there's that recovery. That was very, very clean. Side play. Got the corner. The check from Zombie Moon. Oh my gosh. He said, You ain't getting nothing started. I'm not holding this corner. You're going in the corner. Oh and my yep. goodness. See you later. Holla at you. That's crazy. 6-6-L, six, six and you had no death stocks at all. Like, that was. That's pretty scary. Especially against Cactus showing up in here with Beelzebub. Good old Beelzy. They're just super good, man. He's top five. Do you agree with that? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, he's good. I think probably like somewhere in the middle of the field when you consider like other characters around him that have basically what he wants to do just better. Like there's so much of that for the cast if you're trying to compare to their top five. But he's good. I don't know about top five. But. I mean, guarantee top five. <laughs> but I'm still sticking with my top five. But Ladiva, have a nice day. Is a... Uh, Definitely putting on some good old zoning. Nice space pressure, making it really rough out here. Good chip. Two nails, two ultimate skill, 100 meter for block damage? Are you kidding me? Bro, he, look at he's already back at 50. I'm, I'm with him. With this character, you're going to get it back so fast. Like, who cares? Oh, man. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, that's kicks, that's you get so much. Look, I'm trying to retire at a, at a reasonable age. I ain't spending money like that, okay? <laughs> you gotta spend that cash, spend that chicken. Look at this damage, huh? huh? Catch him a little frame trappy there. Got the combo drop out. Nice defense, gotta block the legs. There's no overhead coming. 
What do we got, Yoshi? Yeah, I like it. Use your head, Yoshi. Got it. <laughs> To just run straight up and clip it with the EX pin. Uh, 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 see you later. This dude is the definition of move your hair back and forth. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm in the Yeah, this matchup, uh, even Yashin said it in the chat, it's, like, it's not fun for Ladiva, and it's just, it's not. Because you, you one, have to deal with the fact that Beelzebub can just teleport away from you, has nails, so you're not jumping in for free. Um, anti your opportunities off of so many buttons, especially to the um, uh, bubble on top of that. Exactly. Having that grounded DP really helps me get in a lot of situations. Uh -huh. And even like one of the things I love about that his DP is you can even when you utilize the medium one, right? It's it comes out a little delayed for people that try to dash up on you and like do spot dodges to bait it. Right. Your DP, right? And so you put them in a little tricky situation when you start utilizing Whoa, that. Nice oh. Jerry. Oh he tried a max range grab, nothing doing. Ooh. No, the 2 age for Latifa. She is just struggling on anti-airs. Hold this spiral. <laughs> the thrill that pierces the heavens. Good yeah. round for have a nice day. <laughs> Yoshi definitely having a rough day against have a nice day. Just can't really get anything going in this matchup. Look at the pressure, a lot of chip, flip the toes because you get a little impatient. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. I like it. Spin the pip. Try to get something going here. Now, the Lariat shut down. Oh, waste a pip on his own. Nice spot spot dodge. dodge. Even during ultimate skill flow. Oh, that's unblockable situation. Get another raging strike to finish this out here. Wow. You gotta do it. You got all the bar, and, and like you said, get that unblockable situation. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. It, it's so a very it brief time. That was real. That was fact for a very a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. all right. Now, we got K Tang back in the building. We have Lunar. These guys are fighting, trying to make their way to loser side. Top eight. K Tang, we saw earlier. I can't remember who we saw K Tang lose to. Didn't he lose in the fairy matchup or no? Um, no, he won that. Uh, won that. Ended up uh, losing to Trippy. Trippy. Okay, okay. We didn't see that. Okay, and then Lunar, we did see going up against uh, Zombie Move earlier. Yes. Yes, we did. All right, got that thrust through. Oh, nice to you. On that pressure. Oh, didn't get hit by the wake up, but couldn't get anything started. Still got the corner back. K Tang, nice tick off of the projection. Yo, what? Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. There was a lot of shiny moments there. K Tang was getting stuff rolling, but just never, never got like the big hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's tough, uh, especially with Cagliostro right in front of you. Right? You have your hexes you got to deal with. And you can see that K Tang is really trying to fish for some of these hits and, as far as zoning goes, because that'll remove both hexes on the field. But that far spear, the heavy spear, will really kind of shut down that zoning. That's what makes it so scary. Cagliostro will follow up right after that. Nice raging strike. Still has a hex on the ground here to keep that Oki position. Talk about Oki, try to go for some throw setup. Nothing doing. Back in that corner, as we talked about earlier, that push block, brave counter, does do, do damage. Getting close to chip territory. No guard cancel. Oh. What? Yo, everything within his power, no, K Tang. Yeah. Uh, you know that's coming. With, you know with no health. 
Jason. Yeah, with no health, unfortunately, like you are not going to be able to keep up. Um, it, all it takes is a unique action, like we just saw the the Kirby down B to get out, or even just a regular teleport from Cagliostro. Like, no mind, it's not going to be able to chase down. There's our forward throw. It's only two L actually, and we're able to open up there. Well, well man, that's like definitely where her openings come from most of the time, right? Tried to go for the second one on the stagger. And a nice escape from Looter. Got a little trap out there, boom. Try to get some spaces together. Try to keep him locked down, but they can't jump out. Oh, yeah, this is huge. This should be a uh, good round if he does not drop. Yeah, go straight to the sky down. Don't even play with your food. Get her done. A substantial round here for K-Tank, and that's honestly, we saw that earlier from K-Tank holding that corner pressure to really, you know, stop Kagliosha from second. Because what can she really do outside of having 50% for that reversal? That's going to be the key factor is paying attention to that resource from Kagliosha here. Not exactly. You really want to rush this character oh, no. down, don't allow her to get playing like that. Oh, no. Two DPs, relax, K-Tank! Just block! I Money you with the ten dollar contribution wants you to know you need a block if you want to get that money. <laughs> ten dollars for block. Uh, jump out, yeah. Got the spot dodge. Ooh, where are you going? Ooh, nice. where are you going? This is great stuff from K Tang so far. Playing a good defensive offense, and that's gonna be a round close. Straight in the sky, bound. Don't play with food, Lunar. Hell apart there in that one. K Tang really just applied so much pressure, like you were saying. And we just, and Lunars could not figure out how how to deal with it. Maybe just block. <laughs> Sometimes, and that's, we talked about this on the uh, MK stream, where America just does not like block. We as a, as a country do not like defensive options as a region, really. I shouldn't say country, region. Do not like blocking or defensive options. We like combo. So we go that is fast. We like combos and mix. Like, that is 1,000% correct. Ooh. I jump in here with unique action. Ultimate skill, rather. Excuse me. Jump in. What? What? Okay. Oh, I, I like the quick block here to get rid of the hex. Only Hands likes it, too, with the $5 contribution. Only Hands, another fire name for the stream. Oh, that's a good one. Confirm that straight to Spike. Good stuff from Lunar. Cleaned it up for, since the last round. Let's see, what is the answer nice. for K Tang? Yeah, that's good stuff. Set up a good tank right there. Early on the meaty, so a lot of them jump out. 6XL able to open up here. Plus frames here after the side slot. K Tang gonna own this corner with a nice little restand on ultimate skill. Perfect. He's got a lot of people right there. Strong life. Oh, the 2H will absolutely get punished. So unfortunate though. I'm curious. If we would have followed up maybe with ultimate skill for a restand right there, we could have followed through with a raging strike opportunity or even a raging change. Definitely could have, but it did not happen. Is the clutch going to happen? That's what we're looking at right here. Pulling up from downtown. A tank getting 1-1. One, one. Thank you so much for this sub, Dalanomis. The five years, the five month streak. Let's get to a five year streak. I believe him. So, he's on the way. It's five months in. We're on there. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice oh, okay. up. Oh, yeah. I think we were expecting maybe the side swap you already absorbed in the corner. Could have potentially jabbed out with a 2H on that teleport. I was able to jab out of that one to push right back over here. Oh, man. Spending all the bar into a grab. Scary situation, safe jump, jump in. Gets the job done for Lunar. Taking it two to one over k -Tang. That was one heck of a set, I ain't gonna lie. They were both, they were scrapping. I was busy exploring. You know, they, they gave me a parachute. They built all that map, I need to see it. Yeah, gotta take a look, see. They put all that work in. You think I'm gonna just sit there on a cabinet and not look at the rest of it? Come on. You gotta explore the environment at least one time for the one time. Nuclear Cheese, Sent Poppy, 512, going at it. Catalina versus Fairy. I don't I know exactly how this matchup goes, but I know that when Catalina gets close, it is rough stuff. 
Yeah, I mean, the mid-range normals that uh, Catalina has, obviously not going to reach as far as Fairy, but it's the thrust that's going to be such a challenge to deal with here for Nuclear Cheese because of how it can catch that whiff recovery on a lot of the hit grabs. You saw a very early 2M from Nuclear Cheese, and I think this is very much the game plan you want to play because you're going to go up against these fireballs that you saw here. Hit grab, ultimate skill, to punish any attempt to go through fireballs. Like, it's, you have to come to me, I'm going to make it a nightmare. Yeah, making it really rough right now. God, this one is going to be some really solid damage yeah. here. Catalina hits like a truck. Oh my goodness, into the safe jump. Golly, and look at how the lead was neutralized from Sen Poppy. As soon as he got one touch, all hope was gone. And, and that's the thing, Catalina has not changed in that regard at all from Grand Blue Rock versus Into Rising. She is so much of a threat, just like Gron, just like Jigida, both very much the exact same deal. A single touch will make you explode. And I love the caution that I'm seeing from Nuclear Cheese in that first round. But again, you can only stay away from the opponent for so long. Exactly. Can't really stay away forever. And that's what, that's what we were speaking on earlier. I was talking about her damage output. It's like... She can keep you away forever and just keep chipping away at you, but dude, once you finally get over there, you're just you're yeah. damaged. I'll put most of the cast. This is gonna do so much more damage oh, to her. Oh, no. Like we're gonna see right now. This is going to slap that app uh, into the sky. Oh, sweet mother. Oh, that's so much damage. There's no BP. You're living though. You're absolutely living, but you are a throw's death away. Oh my god. Look at the red! Oh, double jump, Sin Poppy! Quick and smooth round against you. It was 80%, but you lost all your BP for it. Don't. BP is important against Cat. You want to make sure you guys. Oh, you definitely need to BP, bro. She's going to shred. I'm talking. Slice and dice. Thrust. Yeah, you know, the, the thrust uh, gives the same issue that we were talking about earlier with uh, Grimmie, right? I was, calling that, uh, I was calling that spiral kick the game, right? Oh, Dude. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can keep zoning, but at one point, if she catches you with that thrust, DP right after thrust. Like, oh, Jesus. my goodness. A close H wall bounce here after the EX thrust. And a 6-6 L mad needy. Nice shutdown here, raging strike of your own, but missed the follow-up. I'm surprised we didn't get a spot dodge on that second raging strike, though, from Nuclear Cheese. Yeah, I mean, he got his toes blessed first, man. He couldn't do nothing about it. He got his, his toes chopped off. Unfortunate. <laughs> Corner game, once again. Didn't even get a chance to zone this time, really. Looking for a thrust. Yeah. Nice. Use the web clean. Get up out of there. GG, go for the fireball game. Nice jump and able to block the up dog. You know, I normally call that wing swip, uh, 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 whip swing, and you have just made me call it web swing. Web, web swing. swing. Web swing, my fault. Yeah, when you said that earlier, I was like, well, raps, that's my new vocabulary. I'm doing that's it. what it is. It's just, it's just Spider Man. <laughs> oh, okay. So he didn't try to confirm. He couldn't confirm from that far, but he wants to get the setup and say, stay away from me, please. Gets the chip. Got a little bit of damage there. Not able to confirm into anything more. But really close to taking this round. And Poppy fighting his way through, though. He's going to get this corner where he's been thriving. Nuclear Cheese fighting his way out. Doing a good job. Oh, my. If you would confirm that, this is even worse. The reopen up. Oh, come on. The follow Poppy. up. You, you got to confirm that juggle. Oh, my goodness. Two and pick up. Let's go. That was nice, that was nice. Yeah, he messed up the standing M, uh, the 5M twice, and so the last one he was like, yeah, let me go and change this up a little bit. <laughs> Utilizing the uh, teleport, the medium teleport to get out of some of those situations, I feel like he's really gonna have to put in the play here. Right. Jab starting off here to get that death puppet out his face. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's already cooking. Yep, medium sword, but now you're already spent twice here. You're only at level one. You do have fireball available, which is great for a corner combo. Ooh, mm. medium actually did not connect the way that you wanted to here on the fireball for Diaphone. Full screen situation. And just like that, ultimate skill death able to close that gap. Yeah, I think to get the uh, the medium fireball two combo off of that, you have to get the close, uh, close by. Uh, 
far move. That's like combo. Either way, he does, he gets that teleport off the heavy, gets the plus frames, and gets an opening. Zombie, zombie move. Having a rough time here. But we do see Diabone used all his pips in that matchup to take that dub. So we'll see how this plays out. Keep going. Jump in. Nice spot dodge and teleport. But still is uh, Diabone. Diabone is there. Wait, hold up. Hold up, Chief. What just happened? You help me. I don't know what happened right there. I had my eyes so averted for a moment. We oh are my! In the corner. I, I looked away. I'm like, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> bro, somebody flipped that, bro. Like, what the heck? I don't know what the iPhone did. That was weird. Either way, he's eating hella damage right now, and that's gonna be the round for Zombie Move. That corner. His iPhone is near before the armor. Yeah, because the armor, it does have that delay startup now, right? Like, you have a bit more time where you can actually do that uh, punch there. Uh, educate me, people. Educate me. In that corner game here. He got the 6-6-L, six, six but didn't confirm it. Got another reopening. Boom, bam, chicken and ham. Flip him out of the corner. The iPhone tried to get something rolling, but nice. The brave counter. Dang. Pulled up. Gives the appearance of a grab. Doesn't grab and goes into the skybound to take the game. Yep, after that first round, Diaphone was cooking, but uh, the fire was doused. Zombie really served him up in those next coming two rounds. Ooh, Ooh really trying to interrupt, but the 6XL still follows through with the far reaching. I think that was the medium start there for Zombie. Mm, there we go. That was a good grab for Diaphone. Get his turn. Trying to make something shake here. A little bit of shim sham. Plus frames, he already knew it. Yep. Zombie Moose said, nope, you're not resetting that pressure. Not going for it. Golly, it hurts. He only has two cards left. And there it is. Gonna bless those toes. To you. Right into the summit, anyways. Like, and that's the thing. You get put in blocks against Lucilius. There's no harm in just sending out the. Uh, death call. Oh, goes for the light and then the medium right after. A bit of time before we try to challenge the far medium, not gonna find the mark. Yeah, I mean, with the characters like this, they don't really have that type of mixed capability. They're just gonna have a rough time pressuring her, right? Like, nice. That was clean. He almost had the conversion. Yeah. You know, if that reaches, like, if he, if he caught it a little early. Uh, the medium sword after that, that two. Yeah. Set up with medium flurry. Not opening a court yet, but there's the throw. Nice. Third count. Jab. Oh, but the 6XL. Zombie move coming right back through. Nice confirm off of the 5M. Now we walk up throw. Your life is going. Forfeit. Oh. Another one. Golly. That went from a nicely contested game into a speed run. Like, he, 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 was, he was on it. It just started off pretty well, and then Zombie just shredded it. And here we go. Getting into game number three of top eight winners. Diaphone having a really rough time. Decided to stick to his guns. No character swap. And it's try to try to see Lucilius again against Nier. And it is not proving well right now. He's been doing very well with those grab out of the corners. Zombie move recognizing that the fireball is a little late for the meaty. Jeez, uh -huh. got the teleport. Yeah. Terrible thing. Terrible thing. Bent all of it and got big Yamaji. You yeah, know, something that you educated me on earlier that I didn't know, mm. uh, even though I was playing him. I didn't know that whenever you utilized uh, your swords that your command grab did less damage. I didn't know. Yes. And not command yep. grab, well, the back, uh, back special. Yep, yep, back special, less damage for every sword toss. Yeah, it was it was interesting. I was wondering because, it, like I said earlier, if you do a sword toss, you, you lose out on some of your... Um, uh, it, it says it in the character guide for one, and then, like, two, like, the other fact was, like, a special you can't use after you throw out a sword. So it, it's just very interesting how they built this character around that. Yeah, he's a very, very interesting build of character. <laughs> nice. Get a little combo here into the side switch into the sky now. Got every single thing he wanted. Zombie move. Golly. 
<laughs> rough stuff, rough stuff. You know, have a nice day on Beelzebub, but what? Trippy picking Eustace. Nice. I like it. I like it. I think that Eustace does really good in this matchup. He knew what he was coming up against. So I'm not mad at the switch. Run up grab. This is a side switch. Well, he is on him. Cut. Oh my goodness. He said, he said, I got another one in the chamber. I got one more in me. Utilize the ultimate skill DP. Nice gunshot here. And you know what? I think this is the character that got all the more powerful thanks to the changes where. Uh, simple inputs are, are fine. Off gray hits, you don't do the exact same damage as regular, so you can ignore the um, you know the charge inputs, especially in combo routing where the damage is just there's no difference, right? So, oh, but that will hurt. That's for sure. It's gonna be a trade, but it nice. works out in the favor of having a nice day. I'll take it. Not gonna have enough to confirm anything off the black flies. He's trying to get something going a little early on the spot dodge. The ex is still gonna clip. Have a nice day, get him around. Nice. Two. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you were spitting though, because like Eustace is so much better in this game. Like, like oh, yeah. if you were talking about with the damage output, got the grab! He has a full confirm. Oh yeah. His combo game is better, his damage output is better. Like, he, he has his uh his uh ultimate skills Ooh. are low-key some of the best. Yeah, I mean, the use of Rat Trap now is very interesting, especially ultimate skill Rat Trap, uh, how they kind of uh, adjusted that a little bit. Um, a little off on remembering exactly how ultimate skill Rat Trap works, but it does still have that stick property that the heavy medium do, like being able to change from that. And that was all built off of just like the one bug that Rat Trap had initially uh, when Eustis came out. And they turned that into just, no, this should be a function that Eustis has, which I think is a really great takeaway off of the previous game. Oh, two L, yo! The Abare from Trippy. You know what? It worked out for him. That was disrespectful. That was... Trippy said, I'm not going down without a fight. He tussled his way out the corner there. That was ridiculous. Take the turn back. Have a nice day trying to put on that pressure for him. He utilizes his overhand at the end of the auto combo. Oh, oh yeah, if, if you got Blue in the chat talking about Eustace, you need to listen to Blue. Like, <laughs> Blue is the one. Blue is the guy. Also running that anime FGC Discord, or uh, Twitter account. Thank you so much. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, Blue agrees. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh, gosh. get baited. Uh. Another one? Oh my god. <laughs> Stay behind. Oh, right nice. Spot dodge. The tech. Yes. <laughs> All right, got our guard canceled. No BP, but you just need to jump. Oh, are you jumping? Okay, good, good, good. That was a bit of a scramble right there. Beelzebub able to recover after the Skybound Dart. We're going to hold this, though. This is the longest I've seen someone with the pink full of. Yo! Oh. A good NOS. A nice day with the triple spot dodge and ultimate skill. It's that clip where Akuma just wanted chip damage and sent every super they had in the arsenal with perfect parry. That is literally what just happened here. That was absolute insanity. What a clutch. The clutch of the night, mind you. Nice EX dive kick to get up out of that corner. The pressure was on from Trippy. Right. Clutch was this spot is crazy. You see him turning it up. He's having to play from behind one more time against Trippy. Doesn't get the conversion. Stagger to throw. What we got? Oh. oh, the chip is coming. Yeah, it's too hard to spot dodge, brother. Get thrown into a pinball machine. On frenzy mode, yeah, uh, you're gonna get clipped by something. <laughs> oh, if you interrupt a bubble to get the pushback, you're not gonna be able to contend with the EX nail. That's beautiful pressure. Have a nice day. Working him into the corner. Early on the spot dodge. Nice. Yes, yes. Spin it. Skybound. He's down to one bravery point. 
Ooh. Now he's at none. It is really, really close here. Yeah, I mean, we could try to get these back with uh, Skybound Arts, but have a nice day with the substantial life lead. He's likely going to be taking the round here. But hey, have a nice day was in the exact same situation in the previous game. And just an EX pinwheel right there from have a nice day to wrap it up. You're telling me brother got a grenade put on him and instantly EX spin? Why not? Do you see the health? I mean, Why would brother? I throw a DP there too. I'm like, you're in a chip situation. I'm killing. I don't care. If see, I if he DP'd, I wouldn't have said anything. Yeah, dude didn't spin. Oh, yeah, this is going to hurt. Now imagine if he did DP and he spot dodge because that's what Trippy did though. So it's that layered buying game of I'm going to put this hurt bot right on top of you for as long as I can. You know what? You're space. Bless you. The toes. trying to jump it looks like. Yeah, he definitely left the ground. He tried to get up out of there, got his toes clipped. Is you know that's a very that's a really good button. It's a long re reaching low, and and for people trying to jump out like that, it doesn't like lay across the ground like some of the sorted lows in the game. It like sticks up a bit, so it hits like kind of midish. It's, it's a solid button. I love it, and it worked out perfectly right there. Right, off the wall. Yo, we're taking this maximum combo limit. Was able to just stack her out with five elves. Cancel. <laughs> nice spot dodge. He doesn't have to deal with that sticky grenade. Fighting his way back. Oh my goodness. He canceled the dash though. <laughs> he tried to spot dodge, but like yeah. I said earlier, man, you can hold it. You can't really do it. Beautiful spot dodge. Have a nice day into the unblockable setup. It's Neo. Battle 2. Have a nice day is the one. Yeah, yeah. It's like everything he's doing is working out. Everything he's doing is right. <laughs> nice little walk back. Dodges the rat race. Oh my goodness. He is so aggressive. Like, I love how much he just keeps forcing the issue. Oh no. my god. I thought it was safe to hold block. You get coming. And unfortunately, you have to be preemptively jumping in order to dodge that. It's not a super reaction. You had to have already been in jump frames to dodge. Oh, yeah. That's wraps. If you weren't Ooh. jumping, you're getting hit. He tried to use his ultimate skill. Gets clipped by the black flies and have a nice day. Ruining Trippy's day moving forward in the bracket. It's near. Let's see what he's got in the bag to deal with this matchup. Yeah, I think the sandwich situation is going to be pretty tough, especially when you get blocking um, the medium flurry from death. Uh, you're going to be in those plus situations. And wait a minute. Someone else is using the eel hat? <laughs> Who is this? That's Elsa, ain't it? That's Elsa. Elsa joined up. Last minute. Unbelievable. Well, you know, at least the courtesy was done in not picking the blue one. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. That's... <laughs> She's in a perfect hey, round. Yo. Oh my god. Woo wee! I said I wanted to see what Sim Poppy had for the matchup, but it looks a little rough starting this one off. Perfect KO for me. Oh! In this Itachi. one. The no. GOAT with $265 contribution. I'm pretty sure that puts us over the 300 and it does. Thank you so very much. Atachi once again being the GOAT. So, top four payout has been achieved. Thank you so much. Atachi. Me a job wherever you work. <laughs> oh, okay, so Sim Poppy still having a rough go at it here. The blue, the ultimate skill, wake up. It says get up off me and full screen confirm off the falling death. And that's gonna be the first game going May Jumpy's way. May Jumpy puts on the eel hat and starts serving up. I guess that's the the way you get better with this character, right? It's an extra battery charge, obviously. The electricity starts flowing. Oh my goodness. EX pickup. And I can't believe you put yourself in a volleyball situation right off rip. The side slot 66M. You know, sometimes 
you just don't know what to do whenever you're getting jumped, dog. If you get up in a bad situation, nice. Using the Brave Counter, getting up out of there. Get a little confirm here. And wake up. I don't even see why not. It made jumpy. Making the right play at the right time. Getting another round here against Sin Pop. Battle 2. It's. If, if I didn't spend time playing Nier, I would still tell you that, like, you know what? I believe the fact that Nier is uh, probably out there in Master Rank being pretty high up. I would never have said to you that she is number one Master Rank. <laughs> Which, and to see that information, I wouldn't have said, I just like, man, she's good, but no way everyone picked up this character. There's a whole lot of them out there on Master Rank, and made Jumpy definitely one of them right now. Getting scooped up, the chance to push out. Is your near uh, master? Misses the confirm. Locks. No, 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 no. I don't even do ranking. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That was an unfortunate attempt there. Tried to check through. He thought it was going to be a guaranteed punish, so he went straight Battle one. Oh. You're right, you're right. I, counting. Wait, it's not all the way around, Red Queen. SST came first. Did I save her? Then don't worry about it. All right, quick speed up here. We have six, which I do think is a pretty decent counter against uh, Nier, but uh, we don't have any opportunities here. Yeah, that was Dragon Ball's Z speed pacing. And, uh, two. A quick cleanup. You know, where's the Uno's at? Where's the Uno's at? Uh, Bring them back. <laughs> Bring them back. That was the hype of Yo, the world. You, you whipped a throw and still went for a back throw? Why not? All right. With the throw, you go for it again. Air fireball, pressure it. Yeah, see, we're starting to kind of see some of that work out for you where you do play, apply that mixed pressure. Yo, that five page. This final round, please be caught up because I actually want to see this happen. Agreed. I thought it was going to catch up in that oh, match, but right. no, it's still lightning speed. Oh, he's serving. He's cooking. Absolutely. Once you get the corner with six against uh, Nier, you got to try to pressure. Don't let Nier have an opportunity. You put the meaty fireball right on top, so that it's harder for death to summon out. You have to go for EX. Yes. The spot dodge in light speed. I still saw that. They jumpy. Taking it 3-0. Sin Poppy did a pretty solid job. We didn't get to really analyze that, get it break, break it down or anything. But And Mega Dose is definitely going to be bobbing and weaving through it. Yeah, gonna be able to do some good stuff here. Now, the only another part about getting locked down, if you get locked down as Mega Dosage, you know, the different style of Oki that, uh, the trap Oki that uh, Luna's gonna be able to play, it's gonna make it hard for you to parry out. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So, nice. Jumped right over the head, teleport into a combo, side switch. Yes. Oh, yeah, pressure right back into the trap, too. Low Hex gone. Really trying to bait out a parry attempt. Sub, I need you to open up for me, and Lunar goes in for the throw. Beautiful, beautiful round from Lunar. Lunar making a count as soon as he got that first block to touch. I like the round start there for Mega Dust. It didn't quite work out, but a little push him back a little bit, and there it is, the little elusive one. Teleporting straight out. Yeah, try to go for a 2H opportunity right there. You saw Mega Dosage. Primed and ready for the teleport punish. Hula Hoop towards the corner. Parry does get thrown. No DP for Zeta, but the wake up. 5L. All about the empty jump, right? That's a good play there. I like that one. Oh, yeah, this is going to be big. First big conversion of the set so far for Mega Dosage. Making it count. Empty jump. No. Flips right over the top with the Pogo. And that's round. Very good jump you there from Mega Dosage. Take that round. That was clean. That was clean. Battle three. This is a, as we're seeing, this is a pretty volatile match. It's like whoever gets locked down is having a very, very rough time. Yeah. And uh, you know, and neither one can really keep the other away. It really comes down to like making the best of your situations. Nice. He's very there. Didn't even use the EX. Making it shake. You just knew for a fact that uh, 5H from Kagalil Show was coming. <laughs> just like that one, warps and gets out of dodge. Doesn't commit to the full uh, uh, aerial route. 
But Spear Block and gets scooped up by Lunar though with no three points on deck here. Mega Dose is just gonna go down. That teleport was freaking right. I was looking like, what's he about to do? I, I really had no idea. I got hit for sure. Ooh, you. Oh, actually, that was a dash up eight, right? A boy, it's not six, six, eight. Just dash up. Here's my party. Yeah. It definitely hit. That thing hit hard. That counter hit. Oh, the new animation to fight against do with these counters. They make it very noticeable that you press them. It's visually pleasing for just an audience in general. But I yeah. really think like Tekken pulled it off in a really great way. Like you can tell between counter hit or like even a trade. Um, but yeah, with the red glaring, like here's a big warning, you got hit. Tried to 2L on wake up, but got teleport punish there and right into the aerial hack for it. Battle two, engage. Very clean, very clean. Mega Dosage had a pretty good start in that one and just to close it out. Very, I think the rocks tried to hop over. Now, the setup is there. Air to air, tried to utilize the raging strike, but didn't have a meter to confirm. There it is, yes. Okay, now, Mega Dosage is where he wants. There's nothing on screen Ooh. for Jag, but nice check. So careful on this approach because you know the low spear is coming up. See, there it is. So we're trying to get closer with a 2L, the least middle button that we could do to try to rough that up. He's trying to play really patiently. He's doing a good job of it so far. Has he too really much damage? Ooh, what a spot dodge. I like the gamble though. I'm not mad at it. Oh no. Getting real buttonsy. Lunar able to catch him on the approach and getting big damage here. Not gonna be enough. Mix. Try to switch sides, but check them and. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. And I'm talking on the side of Luna, to be honest. Ah, cool. ultimate skill. Yeah, don't forget about the Kirby down so special. Believe in victory. He got that touch, Battle man. One. Engage. I don't think he would have killed him. He only had uh, 50, not 60 meters. So I don't think he would have been able to do the big thing. He would have put him in a, a two-touch situation. Oh, the shimmy and Mega Dust is not biting at all. Not to toll, not to toll. Nice air to air. Oh my goodness, that just blows up the berry completely. Yeah! Hey. That did a little bit more damage than I was expecting, my brother. Battle yeah. <laughs> right out. I'm trying to figure something out, man. I'm just having, I'm just having a rough go at it. Down 2-0 here. One more round to stay alive. Oh, geez, with throw. Yeah. Good damage. Set up here. Just let it rock into a tick off of the trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, trying to parry out of there. Yeah, trying to get for that DP. He wants to get a little bit of space, get out of the corner. And he can't be trying to tech throws here at Grand Blue. No serene. Mm, mm, mm. Three O oh, for Lunar. Yeah, that was silly as a side, right? Mm -hmm. And we just saw how rough it was with him going up against Zombie He started off very well, and so that yeah. is more collected data. He started off well, but it just didn't play out at, oh, over time in that set. Uh, we'll see what he Ooh. can do here against another player playing the same character. Yeah, and I like that coverage there from Made Jumpy following out after the uh, horizontal slice there. Immediately send another flurry, and Diaphone was really trying to reach out, try to get a, a, a kill on death. Hit grab, rather. Yeah, hit grab, right? It, it throws me off. I called a command grab too. <laughs> nice. Going to get a full conversion here off the 5 L. It's cool. Try to get a 2 H there. Yeah, try to get the 2 H pickup. It's doable. It's pretty it tough. Is. Yeah, it, there's some weird timings there when you start to juggle. Like, we were already pretty low on the uh, close end. You have teleport. You thought you could press a button there. That's the medium teleport. Yeah, that was good. Phased out of the way of the wake up and slapped him. So clean, so clean. Nice jab there. He's been doing a really good job. He's charging right in his face. <laughs> Throws death out. Like, what are you doing? Cut it out. <laughs> 
I like it though. I like it from the dial phone at least a represent the option, right? Like, you know, you're you're scared that he's gonna throw a sword over you. Like, oh, just get the Give a little bit of tips up. Some energy here. I want faster cooldowns, at least by two seconds faster. <laughs> at least by two seconds faster. But he is in a rough situation there. Yep, got caught in the frame trap. I don't know what he tried to do, but it wasn't the right option. And one round apiece here. Engage. Six, six L's. Far L and far M. Just keep that delay pressure. Nice little teleport. And every special that uh, Lucilius does builds up on that sword meter. Uh, there's no real, like, large difference between, like, how much they gain. I don't believe it. I'd have to double check. But there's no difference. Like, they all charge about the same. The most charge you're going to get is to do, like, his unique action stance. Mm -hmm. All right. He's not able to really get anything going against this character so far mm -hmm. in this matchup, man. He's He's trying oh. everything within his power, but when you're a frame trappy character and this character has wake ups like that, has, a, has that wake up that can just be thrown out in the midst of, of anything you're doing, and then you, you don't have any way to really mix her, it's, it's just gonna be so tough. Yeah. Yeah, Lucilius, very straightforward, like a, very much a frame trap heavy character, but you're going up against the spot dodge, but death is there to back it up. Yo, all right. Come on. Dumb. Go on. Come on. You Bruh earned that. Alert. That sucks. <sighs> so unfortunate, dog. That's true. You know what? Should have spot dodged twice. I don't like that answer, but you're right, Jamie. You're right. <laughs> oh. Ultimate wake up back and forth between the two. Nice jab. Stops death for a moment. Has an opportunity here. You get a full combo conversion into full corner carry. And that's something he does well. He's definitely corner carry. He's the lockdown here. And another ultimate wake up coming out from May Jumpy. The stop unhand me. I don't want any of this. The raging strike. And and then you covered yourself. That's cool. It's cool. Another near death experience. Yeah. There we go. Nice a hit grab. Medium versus we got some time before that even comes up. That is that setup is disgusting. Like I don't understand how how you're supposed to block. Like what, what's going on? Have you tried it? Have you tried this one? Like not trying to put you on blast. Like have you tried setting that up? No, I have not. I I encourage you to try it. It, it is very empowering. Like it's. Is it, or are you trying to tell me it's easy, or? It, it's very easy. <laughs> oh my god, no! I thought I was finally seeing an execution setup from this character, and then you you threw it away. No, it's all, it all cycles back to the same thing. We, there's, off of any stray hit, you got that setup, it's fine. Oh no. Nice, yeah, I like it, Diaphone. Get him off of you, because that setup was coming right back through. Another blender. Spin one. Goes over right. top bust. Yeah. And we had to give up the Hand turn right there. that, which is crazy. Or you could actually air throw that. Like, it works very similar to Lancelot's 2-2 uh, uh, series. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Spence, I mean, there's no BP here. All right, so tons of damage opportunity here. Oh, we took the stance. No. no. So, chat, you oh, haven't what? seen that one yet. Well, no, I think you spent the whole thing. So you did the, the heavy version, I think. Heavy is the one where you shoot straight forward and end it right away. So when you go for that install super, you do have the opportunity to fire three times and you go for three different angles. There's a downward, middle, and then upward anterior angle. And then once you spend all three, like, then it goes into the finisher. I think you just spent the uh, unique version, which yeah. once you go into stance, it just fires the beam right away. Yeah, that's a, that's what I was saying. I, I think he hit the wrong button because like yeah. he hit the anti-air when he would have been cool. Yeah, I you know it's it's still weird like thinking about it because heavy doesn't go up right. I think heavy goes down. It, it's something weird. There's something weird about like the actual routing of how that works. Yeah, one of them's like. 
straight down into the ground, which I don't even see why you would ever use that one when you have the straight across one. Uh, juggle time. Hey, guys, come to Skybound. Dead. D E. Battle. Yeah. Made Jumpy running away with yes. this. Oh, light is low, medium horizontal, heavy is up. Okay, so it was right. I think I hit like unique for whatever reason, and it's still okay. My buttons are weird. Now. Yeah, nice. the unique is definitely the Fire that ends the whole deal. Yeah. Got a little corner here. Nice teleport. That was really good, actually. I love it. Yeah, it I love it. It's so oh. cool. So cool. Really good damage. Swaggy as can be. He's trying to space him out, trying to get his cooldowns back. He gets him. He's on level four here, so yeah. he really makes something shake on his pressure. And level four, oh so he got God. the six second cooldown. About to hit level five, but you gotta survive this next interaction. Oh what? no. Oh he tried to brave counter the the cross up. But it was an imp on the side of May Jumpy and May Jumpy clutching that one out and around that. I really thought the Diaphone was gonna take home. I'm hurt. He, like you said, later he becomes a front trapping character. At the beginning, he's more of a, a he's a neutral monster. He's just a little footsie character. Yeah, uh, okay. that really just wants to confirm into small things here and there. And and so that, you saw Diaphone trying that at the beginning. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. Trippy. Trippy knows how to punish the teleport here. Sorry to cut you off. It is Trippy on Lucilius up against Lunar's Cagliostro. Already off rip. It was a 5L anti air right into the hit grab. All right, check out for that jump down. Oh, he tried to utilize the ultimate skill fireball that got clipped by the spike. So he's down meter. Get it back. Oh, damn. See? Oh, yeah. Yo, Trippy knows. Trippy knows the teleport game. Won't fool around at all. All right, Sim Wheel. I like that little stutter step up into the five, mm -hmm. five bell. Good stuff. I like the, the weapons for Lucilius here. This is actually pretty cool. One sword, one spear, and one axe. I was going to say that earlier. We got two, uh, the, the gameplay started flying too fast, but yeah, that two. is fire. Engage. Oh, I yeah. Look like he has Zeta's weapon in, uh, doesn't that? Maybe I'm making this up, but isn't that one of the, um, Basaraga's, uh, sights? Uh, I don't He has one that so. looks like an axe, right? Maybe. I I don't know. I've not seen all the Basaraga's weapons. Okay, maybe I'm tripping, but it I'm, looks like one of them. Hey, how many of us have seen all the Basaraga's weapons? Let's see. <laughs> uh. Oh, too far for the throw, but a 5L will interrupt the whiff throw attempt there from Lunar. Nice throw. He doesn't fall into the trap. Oh. Lucky for him, but he gets another throw. Nice spot dodge, but he didn't even get pushed into the hex, so he's good to go. Gets a back throw. What's the setup here? Jump in, safe jump. Faded and confirmed. Yes, sir, Trippy. Yeah. <laughs> Spend it. That was so clean. Good thing we got the W right there. No BP. Oh, oh for sure. Yo, right when it was about to touch the spike? Right, there we go. Goes for the medium, which is plus. Yo, I, that's so good on defense for Trippy because every single time, I thought it was anti-air, but knew like, we couldn't press 5L there. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't press anything. She fell right at the perfect angle. Doing a really good job on the defense here. Yeah. He's not being uh, impatient at all. Just Trippy while falling and wants to pick up at the combo, suspends the Raging Chain so he can get that consistent route there. I love it. I love it. Wake, wake up ultimate wake up. skill. Yeah. I am not mad at Luna. Spend that hip. Get him up off you. Do it again. I'm okay with this. You gotta make it count. The back throw. Set. Oh! Oh! Blocking. Defense. That was a punish! Lunar had the game right there. He did that that 6-6 six, six, uh, M too close. That was a free battle. Yeah, that should have been a punish 100%. Just wasn't ready. Just did the neutral jump. Didn't have a button prep. Tried to hop out of there. And lose that one trippy up 1-0 here. Trippy with the level 4 last game. That was also sick. 
I didn't even check the levels. Oh, I'm, I'm watching levels like a hawk for this character, because that is me playing this character the last few days. That's all I think about is, all right, what level? How do I need to route my combos here so I can make sure I'm going to have something on the next hit? Yeah. Pretty solid. Yep. Bandit, not going to be enough. Guess what game? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, very weird interaction. I think, no way that was the overhead ender, right? Like, I think that was triple attack overhead. Because we got yeah, caught ducking true. on the trap. Pretty true. And yeah, he's ready with the AA once again. He's a oh, medium yeah. sword. Uh, didn't want to spend his cooldown, right? Well, no, he didn't have anything. I was just looking for the stop. He got the conversion into the 5M. He didn't have anything to keep that going. He tries to teleport lance right into the spikes. Beautiful throw. Save jump in. Another one. Tick throws off of him. stuff. Oh, oh, oh. See you later. This is definitely the gap. Let's get a little saucy with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang. Dang. I, it's plus. The silliest is just too cool. This is too cool, dog. It's too cool. It was so unnecessary, but it was necessary at the same time. You gotta put the sauce in for the screen. Medium triple attack. Got the command grab or hit grab. Air to air doesn't get the full conversion after that teleport, right? Yeah, but we had a chance there. Yeah, that one is plus when he uses mm -hmm. the ultimate skill version. Trippy. Getting pushed back into the corner. Lunar setting up. So keep at bay. Beautiful Ooh. reaction. With the teleport. Yep. Oh, ultimate skill to get the invulnerability to stay right on top of the hex. 2H. Good routing. Puts you right back into the hex, though. Actually, this is a good opportunity here. We're not going to get the meter, so we spent ultimate skill for the refund. Yeah. Oh. Recognizing that 5M and going straight into the Raging Strike. Trippy doing his thing out here. First game we've seen him on Lucilius, and he's showing he knows what he's doing. Doing a great job right now with Lucilius. Believe in victory. Man, I wish we could see what rank he actually was. It's doing that thing where it's showing him as a F5. I want to see where he actually has it. Nice spin. Great respect from Trippy because we are definitely wary of the uh, the low hex. Does one get tossed into it? And trying to tech a thrower is so dangerous in this game. That ultimate skill slowing things down here. Gonna lure that opportunity to punish. They're doing a good job of the defense been for the most part, but that round, the offense was too strong for Lunar. He'll take that one right there, trying to stay alive. It's 2-0, Trippy's way. He's trying to close it out. We got Lunar getting pressured. Nice tech on the ground, but it is late. Gonna take a little damage. That one is not late, nor present at all. Take some damage on that throw and get corner. Hey, hey. Ooh, great 2-H and spends it into the aerial pickup. Of the sword, that's the forge special. Yes, sir. All right, back row. This is where we get some shake. Nice tech. So cute. Back a little bit. Yeah, it gets a little bit of a charge. We are in level three, so six second cooldowns are activated here for Trippy. Good spot to be in right now. Except the combo is not the good spot. Yeah, not a oh spot dodge. It's gonna be huge conversion. Into the sky bounce, yeah. Night, night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I saw the spot dodge, it was uh, kiss the baby on that one. We got two to one. Lunar getting on the board. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. <laughs> oh, that autocorrect turnaround, like yo. And the far medium was able to connect. Blessed button for Trippy. Well, that button is the same. I love it. Nice AA. Ooh, the bait, but doesn't get a full conversion off of it. Oh, that instant air teleport, dog. It's like, what do you do? Oh, he is crap nation. He checks his way out. 2M stand up. I man. Ooh, right back at him. And that's going to be a conversion for game. 
Lunar's heating up. Round start, tries to 5M. Lunar backing it up. Yeah, I like the preemptive 5L because we don't want to get 6XL. But Trippy stops a little bit early there. Yeah, he's been doing really, really well with uh, kind of like his little shimmy pressure. He's not really committed to his one ups or anything like that. Nice job. This is full conversion off that 6XL. Ooh, drops it. Nice, gonna get the Raging Chain follow up. Tons of resources. You have your whole skill set here. Ultimate skill follow up for the finish. I mean, that is cinematic. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And here we are. One more round of peace here. Sooners is for his life here in the tournament. Trippy trying to move forward. Got the combo. Nice setup for the plus frames, but nothing doing. I like it. Push that off. Lockdown City. Yes. Tick off the trap. Just trying to walk up on him and grab him. I like that. But Lunar has been really, really aware. I mean, not Lunar. Trippy has been really aware. Whoa, whoa talk about being aware. Is that it? No. No, dropped early. Yeah, it's going for air routes and the fireball is very difficult to try to get the pickup. But we still got the combo after the reset and getting the victory. 3-1 here for I Trippy. I don't see that happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were thinking on the same wavelength. Yeah. Nice! Presenting the overhead at the end of the, the triple combo automatically. I like it. Ooh, 6XL. That's what you get for trying to spot dodge the air fireball. Oh, yeah, that fireball is the bane of my existence. And right now, Zombie is not like where they put him right now. He's trying to get up out of this corner. But... Yep, there it is. Suspended. I ain't mad at it. But. Gotta remember, he does have a carry of his own. So he'll spin that right back at him. It was gonna be hard for him to even do that in this matchup, right? Because he can use the he can use death to try to catch him throwing that out mad random. Yeah. Ooh, ultimate skill to close. That's the other thing though, uh, that's a big option for uh, six. Spending ultimate skill because it will go through the death startup. So Zombie could send death, but if you ultimate skill barrage, you're going through it, you gotta punch. That's just one aspect of why Six is so good against his character. Yeah, that move is that t even outside of just me, that move, that wall clean dive, is, it's one of the best moves in the game. Mm -hmm. That ultimate skill is ridiculous. The full conversion you get from it, it goes full screen, right? Like it's, it's insane. Right, he's having to deal with this corner pressure. The lockdown is. Yep, see, there it is. Death is going to be the one eating the parry, like I was just speaking about. Now he's got to deal with a full combo, parry on cooldown, to a mix. Ooh. Nice attack, the close heavy. Oh, full route here. Good stuff, actually. Going to get that 50% life lead built back. Some of that BP that we had lost. Not mad at that at all. And spin that, get those tips off. Caught him trying to hit the ground. Full conversion. And that will be enough. And I think, am I wrong in saying that's only because he was missing those bravery points, right? Um, it, it certainly helped tremendously. This is the starter of that one, though. I'm trying to see the uh, the frame dead on the uh, close heavy here for the stage. Gotcha. Man, jam and pressure down on Zombie Moo while the jam is playing the Billsy theme. I like it. He tried to throw the little parry out right after uh, uh, pressing that button, thinking that Zombie Moo was going to check, but he did not. And now you're in the corner. Health deficit here for Have a Nice Day, but he's definitely playing a solid one. Ah, uh, nah, he's going to be Rhapsody into the skybound for Zombie Moo, and he's going to take the first game 1 0. Zombie Moo's way. Goodness. I mean, it was a good back and forth. I mean, these two have run uh, across each other in the previous version of the game uh, several times. So, you know, other layers of, Loki, of Oki. You know what? <laughs> Oki Doki, all right? That's. <laughs> Oki Doki Yomi is what we're hearing. Hey, wait, did you say Oki Doki Yomi? That's what I said. I love it. <laughs> If I can't get it out, then I'm going to do it the way I was trying to. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. 
So, got a big lead here from Have a Nice Day, but the back throw is going to start the pressure. Nice jump out. Yeah. The grab attempt. Jump on nice jump, neutral jump from Zombie Move. Got some big damage here. Yeah, I got the additional airtime with that fireball. Tried to avoid potentially another death summon. Of course, calling out that throw, like you said, in the corner. Last battle point spent from Have a Nice Day. Got to be careful. All right, never mind. Smart You're good. Play. You know, he only needs to get one more touch. That wasn't a smart play. Uh, he threw it out. You know, you take a big gamble and it doesn't pay off. Welcome to Vegas. Sir. Have a nice day. Uh, uh. All right. Set, set up the lockdown. Just <laughs> run straight into him. It, it's a bit of a bet to one. You're getting that corner position. And also, you're trying to dare have a nice day to throw out a guard cancel, I feel like. Because you get, you're winning either way. Like, all right, cool, I'm going to get better position. Or you lose on a battle point, I do more damage. Yeah, yeah. Either that, parry, something, right? He's looking for something. Good, good setup there, but version here. Have a nice day. He's spending everything. You got him. And that's it. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Big time damage there in that combo. Have a nice day. Yes. Getting himself in there. What we got here? Ooh. Ran right into the throw. It's your fault. Your <laughs> pressure Ooh. caught you opened up. And, but unfortunately, we didn't want to commit quite yet. That's why we saw the reversal on the Rekka series to get out of dodge. I think we can open up the opponent. Didn't quite recognize the touch. Recognize that one with a parry. Boom, boom. Damn. It's going to hurt. It's going to be enough. Though. He's not killing me for sure. But he will spin. Okay, so you're going to get a lot back. Makes it all the more dangerous here for zombie move. Ooh. Goes for the teleport. Nice. And still got the grab. I like it. I like it. That, that throw animation, that back throw is ridiculous. Cool. Like, Engage. Like that's just ridiculously cool. Like, yeah. Oh, really far for this setup here. And yeah, Zombie could have approached forward a little bit, but Have a Nice Day fell really low. So 2H might have helped you out to pick up that combo, but it's a better bet to just kind of project that. Sure. Corner game here. Dang, that did not work out. He tried to maybe catch him falling down with a button, but he did utilize the air fireball. Able to get a conversion and corner. Runs clean under him. He pushes him back over here for the sandwich. Nah, corner time. What a well-timed jump from Have a Nice Day. Still has the Raging Strike follow-up, though, to bring it back down. Okay. All right, take the lead of rounds here. Barrage challenge. Stagger, mashup 6XL. And finally calling out with a uh, guard cancel here to push away. Yeah, trying to make sure he can establish his pressure. Doesn't want to block for too long. Nice. What we got here? Corner gang. Ooh, caught him in a frame trap. I don't know what zombie was pressing, but he got smaculated, smaculated for it. Huh? 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 Yep, spent that. Good stuff. That's so much damage for 35 hits. Like, six is crazy. Dog, that damage is absurd. Actually. Nice grab. Zombie, trying to make some shake here. That lost turn. EX Barrage, we're gonna get out here. Empty hand, EX on follow up here because we're whittling away for chip damage. Good recognition from Have a Nice Day to go for those spends. Yeah, he definitely did the right play there. He was flipping and dipping, that dude was all over the screen. <laughs> that last sequence. What we got? Nice, spins for you, Down two pips, this is rough. He's down two pips. Zombie is down to eight cards. It's getting close to slapping time. He gets the slap for himself. Got the corner. Straight into it. Yes, sir. 
get the yeah, he wanted his rape coming back. Mm -hmm. That's that's a smart play, smart play. Ooh. Trying to get that challenge with the far L. With throw, we're still plus. Ooh. Nice. That absolutely smothered the spot dodge. We got a kill here. Yep, there it is. Sling, sling. Beautiful, beautiful stuff from Have a Nice Day. Running through the bracket with Vilzy all day, and now he's over here with the six. Does this new challenge with the Berser uh, Berserker Barrage? It does get the Raging Strike follow up. He is like doing the an amazing job of fading out the, the wake up. Mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you, like, just a very different type of feeling I see. Like, Nier is still good. They didn't, like I said at the top of this bracket, they didn't, like, change anything about Nier other than making it easier to challenge her um, activation and recovery on death. Like, that is about it. It's not like a frame data change, it's just a recognition change. <laughs> we shut down the fireball there. Okay. I guess, what would you call that? The opposite of quality of life change, right? I mean, it's just like a... It, it is a quality of life change. If it's hard Whatever to recognize, you know. then they make it a recognition that's easier. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm, I'm saying, like, because generally a quality of life helps the person that they're changing. So it's like a opposite. But it's, it's quality, of life, quality of life change for everyone. <laughs> Big time damage once again. Have a nice day. Close to closing the set out. He's got it two to z two to one right now. One more round. He is making zombies spend everything at the moment. No more bravery points on deck, but he only has one left. And I think this whole combo into the skybound. I don't know if I can call this, man. Oh my god. Yeah, it was enough. It was enough. I saw this. The health bar was around those three pips. Like, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, Ended up closing that one out, so Zombie keeping himself alive here in a clutch situation. Good stuff. Ooh, the counter guard. blocked, and he still yeah. smacked? Well, you are safe on breakout, so... Spend Skybound Dart. A skill, of course. Eye for an eye, but that is a set for Have a Nice Day. 3 1 victory. Send Have a Nice Day into Grand Final. He's a cat. It's not a cat. It's a wolf. Wait, is he really a wolf? Yes. Bro, oh, that dude is a freaking cat. <laughs> His ears look just like my cat's ears. Might, you might have a, a bobcat then. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You know what? Maybe he's a lynx. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Could be. Right, well, Trippy already applying rat race. Got the extension on top of it. Nice corner carry. This will be interesting because rat race, I think, is going to be the uh, significant factor in this matchup as long as it connects to near because that makes shots a little bit more devastating here for um, for Eustace if they're ultimate skill rat races, for example, because they explode on impact, you can delay explosion, but heavy rat race, medium is a little bit different there. That's the heavy one. Yeah. If he would have kept that alive, I ain't he put once he put that bomb on, he kept that combo. I was gonna jump about my seat. He's going for the chip here. Oh yeah. Recognizing that made jumpy sends over death. With the mean, ultimate skill, jump in. Yeah, chip damage. Oh my goodness. goodness. There it is. <laughs> Two oh, cards man. left, and you, you're literally within a position. You're in the corner. Made jumpy could have sent forward ultimate skill. And that would have been a different story here. <laughs> Not for sure. Oh my goodness. What a closeout to that round. These guys are playing out of their mind here. Neither one wants to go down in this loser semis. But here we are. Boom. Gets it on there. Ooh! He had the conversion already, but goes for the grab. Still gets the detonation. It's going to be nice damage. I love that, that combo hitting on the back end. That combo was so lengthy that it lasted until he got back the, uh, the grenade. Yeah, I mean, a lot of players will find routes that can cycle back into special use. This is definitely one of those characters that kind of needs that in order to really see a lot of success. 
Oh, jeez. Nice block on the cross under. Both a single battle point away. The throw will kill here. Mm. That was rough, man. That was rough. The jump in, he blocked it, and he's not ready for the tech. We got one round each here in game number one. The round start is going to go in favor of main jumpy. Nice solid damage into a setup that we got. Ooh. But the whiff, actually, the overextension from main jumpy gives Trippy the opportunity to apply this rat race. And it's just going to disappear. EX came through from May Jumpy. The install, very rare. I don't think that was intentional because we're at massive health. Now you're going to be on a 12 second cooldown here. That did not play out how you wanted. And Trippy is going to capitalize on the mistake. Take the first game. That 20 some odd second install cooldown. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. That was unfortunate. So now, if that wasn't what uh, May Jumpy was trying to get, what do you think May Jumpy was doing at that point? What, what input error could have happened? It was probably the back special that we wanted, because it would have been dash for because we were dashing, went to back, and we might have fat fingered into the down input that got the uh, special, the super. Because if you do input special button, then it's going to activate your super. I can make that. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes perfect no sense. Trying to sit here and block. He's got death on him. Tried to check. Got it. 5L. Now pulling up. The spot dodges. And thrown back to back from May Jumpy. Another Ooh. unique wake up. You know the difference in the play between May Jumpy and, uh, and Zombie. Zombie. Uh, you don't see Zombie utilized. Uh, he hasn't really utilized the uh, ultimate skill wake up like that. Yeah, that's a fair point, like saving the resources. Uh, gosh, maybe just saving it for uh, Skybound Art in general, but yeah, that's a fair call. Maybe in this matchup in particular because, oh, jumped up. That was an unfortunate jump from May Jumpy. Um, yeah. But honestly, the difference here, you're utilizing ultimate skill uh, death summon because it does go through your projectiles here. It helps out, kind of interrupt the opponent. Yeah, for sure. Nice flurry. Nice. Big damage here. One more touch game. There it is. The touch is there. Perfect KO for May Jumpy. All right, fighting back. Clawing their way through this set, trying to keep up with Trippy. Trippy still has the advantage at the moment. Nice fireball to start that one off. Into a nade. Yeah, he's utilizing those blue nades now. Doing a good job on this nooch, but got clipped into a side switch. Corner is here. Set up, what's the setup? Ooh, oh, that was tragic. That was the guard cancel. It was too far for guard cancel to connect. So we got picked up by the uh, by death being called in. I think May Jumpy on reaction pressed the guard cancel return to you know, push that back. Ooh, it was weird. It was weird. a weird interaction. Yeah, it's gonna be some nice solid damage here. Not gonna be enough. What's the open? Yep. yep. Grab a Ruski. And Trippy gonna go two to zero right now against May Jumpy here in Losers Finals. And jumping straight back into the game. No waiting, no prep time, no thinking. Straight back to boxing. This is pretty interesting to see Eustace in a topic. <laughs> it really is. I mean, I, I feel like he belongs. It doesn't seem out of place to me, but like, yeah, but he's not really represented like that in these topics. Like so no, yeah, I, I almost feel like in in the limelight that is near Belial, you know, uh, even on, uh, oh my gosh, like our other top tier characters, like those two come first of all, six, like definitely under the wayside, especially at the end of Grand Blue Versus, Yusuf was certainly one of those characters that really did not get explored a lot. Agreed, agreed. Exploring that whole health bar swiftly. May Jumpy taking the first round here in the final well, potential final game. Uh, you know what's interesting? You did say uh, you just brought up Belial. You didn't have any Belials. Yeah. Very rare to see Belial right now in Grand Blue vs. Rising. Like, there's still a couple of them out there. But in this field, you know, like, and Co Composite brings up a good point. Like, Eustace, despite having simple inputs, is still very execution heavy. Like, that, this character is just not, you're going to pick up and run with it thanks to simple inputs. It does take some planning to really play with this character. Meanwhile, you look at Nier, playing with Nier is just simple. 
the, is very straightforward. The game plan does not change no matter what character you're up against. Yep. That was a... That, I mean, you talk about the execution. May Jumpy getting on the board. That's 2-1. Uh, but you talk about the inputs, right? The execution. If you look at the way he just pressured him, I, I, I want you guys take him to the lab and try to do that pressure. Nice. He was doing the uh, what's that? What's it called? The slide up? Uh, the man slide? Or dash up? Uh, I'm not sure what it's actually called. But that's his down special, I believe, or it's his back, back, special. back special. Yeah, back special. But but yeah, like he's doing that. He's canceling it to keep the spacing together for 5M and things like that. Because that does not. Get up at the P. Yeah, and that ultimate skill, like I'm talking about, uh, it goes right through those projectiles. It does close the gap. You're able to ch chase the corner. It's definitely being used exactly how you said it. It's working out perfectly for Mate Jumpy. Right now, got the corner. Trippy does not want to allow this to go to game five. He's trying to make something happen here, but Mate Jumpy is doing a lot better on the defensive end. Uh, that's where that's the change that we're seeing in this set. He's, he's still playing the same kind of neutral. He's been doing right. the same thing, but his defense has picked up a little bit. He's not been getting caught by the little frame traps and, and a little trickery. That time he does let up and doesn't want to hold block. He tried to do the wake up and Trippy was ready. Full conversion. Check out my CQC. <laughs> Light uh, grenade into a little bit of pressure and caught him. That back turn blast. Final round here, potentially match point for Trippy. Dash up works. Heavy rat race. Oh, a good tech. He was able to remove that rat race before things got dire. But this corner pressure, no death summon. And go to get the throw. Yo, you got to guess on this one. Was the, the, the guess was wake up. Yeah. <laughs> I call wake up buttons though, I've had enough. And Trippy had enough of your stuff. Unleashes the gat, the yappa, and goes 3 1 against Major, like in, in it. Like he was the dude. <laughs> it was like, like he was beatable, but he was the one. Yeah. In the US, Zombie was consistently champion out of all major tournaments. There was a couple that they were not at, and that is the sole reason at the time that he would not win. It took uh, Japan coming over, Ren, uh, to take the W away. And that yes. was like at Evo, at CEO. Uh, but Zombie on a tear right now against Trippy. Yeah, Zombie definitely doing this thing right now. Break counter, you know, touch chip damage is imminent, and there it is. Zombie, first round. Yeah, so, I mean, he kicked up a notch this time, right? We were talking about how passive he was playing, but he definitely ramped it up in that round. You know, practically so though. Uh, if you think about this character, he has keep away game and he has a very good rush down. So if he chooses to keep you away, it's rough. And if he decides to come over there, you don't want to let him do it at his own pace, right? So the aggressive play and the aggressive change makes sense for this matchup. Gonna get a side switch, boom, bam, chicken and ham. What we got? Set up. Ooh, try to go for the yeah, gonna save jump. I thought he was gonna maybe empty jump below him or something like that, but. Either way, good defense from Trippy. Trippy's got corner now. Nice. Gonna go for that overhead. It didn't work out though. Oh, geez. Yeah, the empty jump. Gonna get 5 L. That's a finish for Zombie. First game in the season finals. Yep. Clean, clean, clean win right there. Uh, going in this next one, I just want to see what the change is or how he's going to be able to keep Zombie at bay. What Trippy's going to do here going into the game number two. Light rat race. Use it to absorb all the hits of death there. That's fascinating. Yeah, super smart, right? He, he throws that grenade and throws one button, and then that way he's able to still spot dodge from the little freeze Ooh. animation of, of death having to hold that fireball. So mm -hmm. super smart setup. You know he's lab that. And not on the fly. Oh, Garcastle wants the space there. Does want to let Zombie have the opportunity to get a death setup and the jump back with projectiles here. Absorbs all the hits of the EX death call. And what shuts up the startup. Play. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, the grenade made him freeze up a little bit there and he just bent that uh, ultimate skill. 
gathered him up. I the love that. Frames, yeah. I mean, just the stagger pressure alone. Very interesting. Stand him. Ooh, spent it. Look at that unsafe low. Caught him though. Uh -huh. Push him back to the corner. Got the touch. Yeah, there it is, zombie. Saving that that meter for the sky bounds. This is the option here. A little shimmy. Nades on there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Again, always mashing during block string will be a death call for sure. But you have to be so careful. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you got that grenade on, it was, it was you know, you're going to have to make a guess on if you want to get that pressure up. But at the same time, Zombie knows you want to get that pressure up. Right? So, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. Pushing him back to the corner. Nice check from Zombie. Going to get a trade. But he's in his favor. And now he has a touch that's going to lead to some pretty solid damage. Boom, but a bam. What'd you call this earlier? Volleyball? Yeah. It was volleyball. Yeah. Game of volleyball. Oh, no. But no punish. This time, just a bit there. Trippy really trying to fight off the ropes. Not going to be able to. This EX will wrap into death. Yeah. Then that sky down and get it over with. And that's going to be 2-0 for Zombie pretty fast here. Uh, but we did see Trippy came in there. And, uh, you know, game number one got clapped up pretty smooth. Game number two, he got him around. He had a lot more solid interactions. Uh, you know, kind of some little saving grace moments, too, where conversions didn't come through from Zombie or uh, punish on that DP. But either way it goes, and we're going to see a switch from Trippy. Did I just see that? Yes, goes to the Grimnir. Really? Is this? Believe in victory. I don't. I don't know about this one. You, like, but hey, Trippy probably knows something that I don't. On paper, I'm not feeling this pick, but let's see. The dash has got something else to prove. You got the EX set up there, so you have four uh, seals to be able to dash off of. Great routing opportunity with the jump U. Definitely. Yes, sir. Bates the grab. Gets the confirm. It's going to be in, yeah. This should be in. Uh, sure. oh, why, why did I even say that like a question? That's enough. <laughs> you, see, you see, chat, Trippy activated the cut-in. Therefore, it guaranteed the kill. It will kill 100% of the time. Don't look at the health bar, though, ever. It will always kill. Every single time, Zero? Every single time that the opponent is about to die. Yes. That is like, if, you, if you don't do it, they'll live with a pixel. Do you want to take that chance? Right. No, 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 never. Why would I do that? I don't want to find that out either. It gets near? No way. No way, Jose. Okay, Ooh. nice. Ooh. Caught him. I don't know if Zombie tried something or if he thought he was going to be on the other side. Either way it goes, he is getting a full combo here into... Mm, caught him with the wake up. I like that. Spin that, keep him in the corner. That's the only way you're taking this one to the crib. But you get touched again. Oh, it wasn't enough. Hold on. Trippy has a chance here, but 6XL has something to say about it. Do or die situation here for Trippy. Oh, almost had the unblockable situation. Just was not quick enough on the draw. Not at all. Yeah. Some solid damage, not too much. Zombie's pretty conservative with his uh with his counters too. He does, he, he does a the full loop, you know, majority of the time. But sometimes he just doesn't go for all of it. Just to keep his little his parts. Yeah, I mean, if you just look at the damage output too that you get for just know, slight hits here and there, like that's enough of a message. And the fact of the matter is that the lower the card draw, the more damage that zombie is gonna do as the time goes on. But we have two cards left. This isn't killing, but one more combo is all that we need. Honestly, throw range. Yeah, you see, he's just trying to use the button pressure because he knows he only has two cards left. Can't punish that. That is safe. Oh, he used them. Death is kicked. Nothing on deck. Trippy's time to shine. Still being very patient. Nice brave counter. Ooh. The 6XL was not confirmed. Zombie doing a very good job. Staying patient here. He's almost bought enough time. And though 
Yeah, unfortunately, dash blocking, you know, for those that don't know, very different in Grand Blue. You have to go for a roll because uh, you can't just dash up and block. There is dash recovery. So that was a great ultimate skill call from Trippy. Very, very good play there. Nice clutch on the side of Trippy. Got the job done. Set up. Let's switch sides. Brave counter. Okay. Spins another one for the combo. He's down two already. Got the opening. Okay. I see him. He's, he's cooking right now. What's the play? Oh. And the 5L will do. That whiff to which scared me. But I thought for sure about you for the punish that. Either way, Trippy, he got him one on the board here. And what one round here, trying to make it 2-2. Two -two. He's got corner with some good solid damage. Setup is imminent. What is it? No, the cop was still going. I'm over here talking like it was about to end. <laughs> Golly. Damn. Nice block on the cross up there from Zombie. Very solid. Very solid. Got the dash I probably wanted to throw. Six six L confirmed it. Boom. A little bit of volleyball into the sky bomb one more time. Good damage. What's the play here? Tries to go for the grab. Ooh, it was a delayed one. So a little bit more damage on the trippy. Trippy dire straits here. He has a round to give, but he didn't want to give it. And there it is. Death said, "I'll take it." Probably one more round away. Going into grand finals. Trippy trying to stay alive. Nice check on death. Push back. I love the approach here, but no low there. Interesting. Let's try to keep the stagger alive. Quite work out. Walk back. Mm, almost waited just long, long enough for the uh, Brave counter to be able to block it, Zombie, but he gave up at the last second. Should be waited just long enough. Now, corner game. Ooh, oh, 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 that's good. Yeah, a little blast right through those fireballs. Oh boy, the jump and we get a great pickup. Oh, More combo limit here. Finish. Double dash, able to open it. Nice. So we both weren't feeling the grim near to start, and uh, look at what it is doing. Yeah, it's doing great because I thought we were going to see a bit more of the like what we started to kind of see here and there is that. Toss of the, you did not just do push ups, a I mean, <laughs> trippy versus which trippy got, I, I wasn't looking. Trippy got off the station and did push ups, yeah. Trippy got oh, off yeah. as two zombie went for character two. swap. It's two all, it's a six Engage. up against Grimnir. Okay, I said the hand. Full conversion here, nice good damage. Back throw. Good luck. You got the setup with seals and open up zombie. Great route. Very solid damage. Great route into the sky now. Okay. Beautiful damage. I love the cover. It's the best. Definitely. Ooh, that's a good situation right there. Putting the tornado under him if he tries that. Right, Air right. Fireball. Dang, and just a little bit too early trying to challenge. Zombie really trying to figure that one out, like how we can handle this. And this is a great handle. Open up into Raging Strike. Trippy is going to have enough to wake up. But he's just going to be blocking right now. Nice brave counter. Ooh, scary stuff. With grab. Trippy. Trying to make the approach. Beautiful parry from Zombie. Zombie has the chance, and there it is. Flying off the wall with the claw. And one more round here again for Zombie. Oh, golly. The air fireball was digging. 5L in the corner. Ooh. Good parry. Holds that position. Yeah. Get that full follow up with the raging change just to continue. 
Just get some strikes. All right. Nice. He's down to Brave Counter, a Brave uh, point, and that will be the final touch of the set. Beautiful showing from Trippy. Trippy doing a great job busting out the Grimnir that I did not believe in. In this grand finals. There it is, there it is. And have a nice day. Sticking with the six pick that he did against Zombie earlier, and it worked out pretty dang well, if I do say so myself. But uh, nice start here from Zombie. Oh, the barrage and get out of dodge. Ooh, death locked down here and able to get that ultimate skill. I'm reacting because it should have been the. Uh, I think it would have happened either way. It was just the fact that death was there and go for ultimate uh, ultimate skill dash through. I like that. Use the triple combo into the low. Uh, uh, uh. It's not gonna be far enough, is it? Oh yeah. I th you know what? Zombie stepped forward a little bit. I think. I don't know if that was going to touch. If that was what Zombie did, step forward to make sure that it touched so he could detonate. Hmm. That was a big brain as could be. But right now, right. big damage coming in. Have a nice day. Go for the setup again. Nice neutral jump from Zombie. Got to see oh, and we caught you running with ultimate skill. Nice job. Definitely great job. Have a nice day showing he really knows what to do. It was a very brave dash up there. Get the uh, 5L anti-air. Beautiful setup with the volleyball game going. Got this short. Ooh, that was so well placed. Mm. Just follow through with the medium uh, triple attack. Oh, the spot dodge, but unfortunately not early enough to get the punish. Just had to respect it. Not standing up quite yet. That 2U does find the mark this time, though. Sandwich with the end of back. That's very smart there. That minor adjustment would have allowed for the combo to continue, but we already had the guaranteed kill. So Zombie just goes for heavy right into Skybound Dark. Needed to get that back dash in order for the position to happen perfectly. Beautiful stuff. Another good round start for Zombie. There's some solid damage. <laughs> So Zombie, one thing I'm noticing, Zombie doesn't really do anything too tricky off that setup. He just goes for the run straight into your chest and make you be like, what are you going to do about it? That, and, that's uh, the thing. What, what are you going to do about it? Like, there's that, that, that's why I say the, the base level game plan of Mir is so strong. You don't need to reinvent the wheel with this character. They're like, the win condition is 6-6-L. I sandwich you with death. You need to figure it out. And even if you do, it's so easy to set up against. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You want to zone me out? Ultimate skill right through your projectile. I get a punish. I still get to make my approach. Or I jump. Ultimate skill drop. Regardless, I'm getting the setup. Yeah. You make it sound so easy, my dude. Is that easy? Oh, my God. So I guess it is easy being cheesy, right? Perfect KO. For have a nice day. Battle two. Alright, and now so somebody in the chat Fisher, sponsored by Fisher Price. So stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Ooh. checking him before death was able to fall down. Nope. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, smart play on the side of zombie just didn't quite work out. He went over the top of the air fireball. I, I like the idea, but have a nice day was just ready, able to react. Heavy dashes out and just right back in with the EX Barrage. The 2M will get a solid pickup with Raging Chain. He's going to have a drop right there. Zombie fighting his way out and gets a touch. Lots of throw is coming through by the looks of it here. Volleyball. We can spend Skybound Art if we want. There it is. Oh, honestly, why not? Because we're down to no battle points. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think for sure that's why he did that. He spent it to get the battle points off, but it is not going to matter as Zombie. I mean, as Have a Nice Day catches the touch and ties it 1-1 here in Grand Finals. Zombie still got two more to try to get Marisa, but Have a Nice Day on his way closer to a dub. Yes, Have a Nice Day this time recognizes that Zombie's just been pulling up on his block to start games, and this time starts the game with Berserk Barrage. Mm -hmm. 
huge for jump in. Oh, did it fall through here? Interesting. Mm. Trying to get Perry out. Yeah, that's tough. Very tough. I'm not mad at the idea, like, man, but there's just a little bit of patience on the side of the zombie. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Wake up for wake up. Doesn't get a combo. This time he does. Got the dash up. Yeah, I'm trying to get the 6 6 H. It would have been better if we got the just stand H uh, that should have picked up close enough to let Death get another round. Only have one card left. If you did 6 6 H, though, it would have brought down a hard knockdown. Uh, so you could have gone either way and been fine. Victory, though, going to have a nice day. Battle 2. Yep, yep, yep. Either one would have been fine in that situation, but the drop was the worst case scenario. Because, you know, have a nice day is really capitalizing on any kind of mistake. Got dang near having to play pretty perfect against this guy at this time. Right now, he's got big damage again on his second touch. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes, sir, spend it. I just think that sixes combos end far earlier than they should. Like, rip. I, I just, no, not far, excuse me, other way around. They they last too long. Like, there we go. I was about to say. The 25, I'm like, wait a minute, where's that combo limit at? But it's because <laughs> the single hit heavy is just like, all right, it's one. Right. You you never misspoke, too much. misspoke. There was a blunder on the speak chat. No, you got it. You corrected it. You, you corrected it. And have a nice day correcting his mistakes from game number one. Going up to 2-1 here in the set. He's one away from taking this TNS number five for Grand Blue. What's Zombie doing? Mirror? Is that? Did I just see it? Ain't no freaking yeah. way. Oh, yeah. It'll be the mirror. Zombie has done this before. Um, you'll have to look back at some Shoe Blue matches. This has happened. You're right. What tournament was that? Mm. Did, it, did, he, did he do this in a grand finals against somebody? I can't remember. Back in the... Uh, might have been. Might have been. Might have been. I don't have it on the spot here. I know it happened, though. I don't know what yeah. the bet. It has happened. It's scored. Nah, you're spinning. You're spinning. It happened. Ah, so yeah, Zombie came out the gate pretty strong here in this one. Uh, showing him what the pressure's all about. He said, you know what you've just been doing to me for the past two games? I'm going to show you what it feels like. Got a nice overhead there with a check from Zombie. He said, nah, you're not at that much advantage after that overhead, even on hit. Close out one round up. Here in game number oh, four. It's English dub versus Japanese dub. Wait, is it? What? Yeah. Yeah, zombie plays on English dub. Ah, gotcha. He's playing on Japanese dub. Uh, oh. I was ready for that one. Yeah. Brave counter is going to get that all up out of here. That's pulling up. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of scared for having a nice day on that dive. I thought he was gonna be okay. That's my reaction. But zombie looked like that's not ready. Ooh, good parry on that overhead. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Such a fast paced matchup right here, man. Oh, man. So much damage, so little time. Two to two here in a very, very fast uh, game there. Zombie after switching. And now what we're going to see here is, does Have a Nice Day want to do this? Does he want to keep running the mirror match? Looks like no. No way. All right, so what do you change to, though? You, you know what would be funny? What's up? If Have a Nice Day picks near. That would be hilarious. I ain't going to lie to you. Be oh, okay. He goes to the bumps. boy. Bill Z, Bill Z, Bill Z. Believe in victory. I would have battled one. I would have been busting the gut if have a nice day switch. That would have been two bucks. All right, no. All right. That would have been so good. Luckily, he ends up going to the boy, the hype character, you know what I'm saying? Top five himself. <laughs> I, you can hope all you want. That's fine. Ooh, 5L. Ooh! Still connects, okay. Yes, sir. Ate the air fireball. Ooh. One right there. If you tried to catch an air to air situation. Here he goes the start for Zombie. Zombie after getting uh, 
I played for the majority of this. Time to get to play a little bit here. Nice, brave counter. Trying to keep the pressure on. He's got to be wary of the wake up or the 5H. Catching him on the dive attempt. Very good awareness from Have a Nice Day. Yeah, that was a very good preemptive 5H right after a single nail. That was very good. <laughs> Because it's EX, we're gonna have a free reign open season to keep pressuring. Hit the combo limit, we trading? Okay, overhead. Five L for the is good. Yep. I like the bait going for the EX empty hand, because we've done it time and time again where we dash up and uh have a nice day has represented EX DP. So we go for empty hand, try to bait that out and get the punish right after. Oh, oh, that's gonna hit. Doesn't get any kind of conversion, but at least he has the parry on cooldown right now, but he also has no bravery points. Yeah. Oh, that's close the touch. Heavy. Yep. Dead. Yeah, Ow. nothing you can do. Grounded normal here, uh, so yeah. that's unblockable for this guy. Unfortunate for have a nice day, but very fortunate for Zombie trying to get a reset here. He needs one more round, one more round each. Nice conversion. Have a nice day. Pretty solid damage. Not the greatest. Yes, sir. Perfect Ooh. timing. Into oh. a counter hit. That's huge. Close counter. We should be able to build enough meter here. Oh, just go for combo reset. That's gonna do. Have a nice day. What? Dog. That deep, unique jump button. He set that reset up so clean. First off, we didn't know what was going on. We thought he was going to build enough and do a skybound. And he said, nah, watch this one. <laughs> Pulled the trick out of the hat, dog. That was, that was disgusting. That was very good. I thought for I thought maybe because damage reset would have been better to go for another opener. But wow, the fact that we reset there and set with jump you is actually insane because that's not something I would normally see a Beelzebub do. It